I almost drowned one time in the pool. We was in St. Vincent, and I almost drowned in the pool. But then, like, it's so fucked up. I gaslit him to think that I really wasn't drowning. So like when when he helped, when he helped me out the water because I was really fucked up like mm-hmm. I was trying to like about to die yeah. that nigga came and got me as soon as I got out the water I was like ah yeah. you stupid nigga I wasn't drowning for real but your ass is dying yeah. <laughs> yeah. I ain't want him to really panic. Yo yo What's good y'all yo I go by Monty. It's your boy Fari. It's your boy Kaba. We are the Not For Nothing Podcast. How y'all boys doing? Chilling. It's Saturday. Mm-hmm. How y'all Iron. Iron, y'all bro? Niggas got me. Yes, nigga. You see my eyes. You woke this nigga up, Matt. <laughs> Yo, bro, because yesterday... I'm, bro, it's bro, noon. I don't, bro, yeah, it's noon now, nigga. I woke up at fucking 10.30. That's dead not early, bro. 10.30, bro? I niggas might have to record 8, 8 a.m. sometimes. 6 a.m. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, drink it. <laughs> Oh, yeah? Yeah, you're dragging it. You think, <laughs> wait, wait one year, bro. bro. This is our, this if y'all do that for spite, I'm not nah, coming. This is our job. Yeah, bro. exactly. 6 a.m. Exactly, bro. you got to do some Pull later. all nighters or some shit. <laughs> Just wait, bro. Oh, I'm telling you, it's going to come, bro. Bro, because 10.30 is not even early, bro. Yeah, I think 10.30 is like, like 10.30? Waking up at 10.30? Nah, yeah, bro. You're bedtime. supposed to have already. Yeah. You're supposed to already nah, starting No, the only reason I'm really tired is because I was kind of up because my girl was out. So I was trying to make, I was just trying to like make sure I'm not sleep sleep just in case like she needed me to like come pick up because she was out all night. So I was like, okay, if she don't get an Uber, at least I'm gonna call away, whatever, whatever. And that's just me with everybody. So if y'all need me, I'm I'm like stay up a little bit just so I don't fall in deep sleep and miss the call and now she's stranded or whatever. So that's the only reason. So I was up until like like three thirty. You dead a late. You dead a nigga. You you be waking up mad late anyways. No word, but as of recently, just I guess because of work, I've been waking exactly. up like around like eleven. So if you gave me like 11, mm-hmm. 11.30, nigga, I would have been up by myself. Oh, okay. Bro, I be I be trying to stay, like, I be trying to sleep in, bro, but the way my job is set up, I have to wake up. Like, I, I be trying to, be, I could be at work at whatever time, but I, I want to, like. You want to get done. Get, be done early in the day. So, like, I get to drop to my job sometimes, maybe like 5, yeah, yeah. 5.30, 6 o'clock. I be trying, like, when, on my, my day off, I be trying to sleep in. Mm-hmm. I can't sleep in. I wake up at, like, 8 o'clock. Your yeah, because your yeah, body, bro. yeah. Yeah, my body's used to it, bro. That'd be the worst, though. But, like, when I be, like, trying to be out with y'all niggas, <laughs> or, like, when I, like, go away or whatever, mm-hmm. bro, I be, it, yo, 8 o'clock come? Yes. <laughs> bro, nigga, Marty came over to my crib for game night just to watch the freaking All-Star game, bro. We was, like, what, I thought he wants to use the bathroom. Bro, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes passed. Like, yo, where does this? We told to go check on you they like thought, yo bro go check I, they thought i was taking a shit <laughs> go sleep on nigga, the bro nigga we have a bedroom downstairs we found that nigga in the basement sleep on the bedroom bro i'm like what the fuck bro <laughs> middle of the game <laughs> too, like, like the game done middle of the game bro be tired, bro. bro i'll be tired bro if it's one nah <laughs> if it's one thing you're gonna find that bed or that couch if it's one thing knock bro, the fuck out one thing mine gonna sleep bro yeah, no I'm matter what Bro, what's up? We was Some hanging sleepy out, bro. ass nigga, bro. We were dancing. Niggas was making mad noise, bro. <laughs> nigga, my on a slump, bro. We like, damn, I'm like, damn, this nigga might sleep. Yeah, bro. Yes, bro. <laughs> I remember we had, when we went to um, GSU, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Bro, we niggas was all in the living room talking, whatever, out of nowhere, bro. I just knock, bro. <laughs> I just knock out, bro. Nigga calling me an old man. I'll be like, nah, bro. Yo, naps is essential. Nah, I'll feel- I never. T- I don't take naps though. That's crazy. I don't. T- I guess I don't take naps either because I guess because of the time I wake up. I usually. But like, I usually get eight hours of sleep. My body no, naturally sleeps eight hours. Word? Yeah. I never. No matter what, sleep, bro. Since hmm? like, probably since like high school. Really? Wow. I you don't. I don't think you need eight. I think. No, I think seven. Seven. you don't need eight, but you're supposed to have supposed eight. To you can function it, off for less than eight, but you're supposed to have eight. I be trying to, I be trying to get eight hours. Shit, of sleep. yeah, that's yeah. why I don't fuck with my sleep, bro. I need my eight hours. Like, yeah. if I don't get my eight hours, niggas, yeah, bro, I'm like, mad. Yeah. I'm like five, four hours of sleep, bro. I'll be, what? I'll be up to like three, and I wake up at seven a.m. Like, really? Yeah, and oh, then just I just naturally, like, bro. Yeah, yeah I, I just be like, yeah, I got it. Well, the day's done. All right, I started. I might wake up early, like six a.m. and just start my day. And that's it. Now, when I fall asleep, I'll, I'll be counting them. I'm like, oh, yeah, that was eight. 
before I figure out if I should go back to sleep or not. I'm like, yeah, that was because if you wake me up before my eight hour, bro, I'm 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 not gonna say I'm cranky, cranky? but I'm not talking to you. Like I'm, now I'm not talking to you for real. Because my mom be waking me up and she like, you ready to go? I'm like, yo, bro, stop talking to me. Like I dad's be talking, I'm like, stop talking to me right now, yeah. dead ass. I be trying to get my eight hours. I think it's composed. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah. I was looking at it. <laughs> yeah, I was looking at it too in the beginning. I was like, but yeah, that yeah, shit is just out. Where we recording at? It looked. All you gotta do is just zoom yeah, in. Zoom oh, okay, yeah, zoom in. Yeah, okay. But um, yeah, I be trying to get my eight hours of sleep. Like I be trying to, I be counting it out. So if I go to bed at nine, mm-hmm. I wake up at what five? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's on the five. It's eight here. Yeah. So five oh, in the morning. Damn, I, I'm but, Debbie's getting good sleep. No, but I don't fall asleep at nine o'clock. Like. I I be like I give myself my bedtime at nine, okay. bro. I don't fall asleep till like ten thirty, mm-hmm. eleven sometimes, bro. Yeah. I just be sit, I just be in my in bed, room? bro, yeah. just yeah. in the dark, yeah. just fucking. Two o'clock is really where my like like once I see like one thirty and two in o'clock the morning. Hit. I nah, can't honestly, sleep early. Yeah, I, I, I can't sleep early. That's I why. I, so fucked yeah, up I, I, I can't like even when I try, I, I can't. I be trying to like settle down at like twelve. Mm-hmm. I can't. My so, body naturally just starts to settle down around two o'clock. So before during Corona, right? Mm-hmm. I because I wasn't I I wasn't working. Mm-hmm. I would be up till like three, four, mm-hmm. and then I would get sleepy. Right. But as I started to get my like ske- my sleep schedule mm-hmm. going, bro. Once, bro, the latest, bro. Once it's like ten, bro. I'm you dead ass tired, bro. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Once it's ten, bro. I'm tired, bro. Because I'd be up all day, like right, right, from right. from. From like five, I be up. Yeah, yeah. I go home, I be chilling, whatever. So I'm. That's oh, how, yeah, how much hours is that? That's, that's like, like seventeen hours. Bro. Yeah, Almost. bro. Yeah. Exactly. Feel me? So yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. I understand that. I yeah. Understand, bro. So what niggas getting into the getting into today? Bro, we got a couple of shits to talk about. We got like a would you not a would you rather a morality a, a morality <laughs> question? Y'all we got s- some drama coming up. Y'all want to start with that? Some with the morality. The morality. Yeah. 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 Nice. But you got it from TikTok? I got from TikTok. Tickety Tock, the girl. Stop. Shout her out. What's her name? What's her, her name, name? Her name is Kat. I'm going to read the app right now. You know what time it is. Time to test your morality. You are out on a beautiful day with your 10-year-old daughter and your 7-year-old niece at the beach. While you're unloading the car, your daughter and your niece start running towards the water even though you told them to wait for you. While they're playing in the water, a huge riptide comes and pushes them further into the ocean. No one else is around and they're both struggling to swim. As you get to the water, you realize that you might only have one chance to save one person before the other one drowns. Your niece does not know how to swim and is flapping around in the water trying to stay afloat. Your daughter is a good swimmer, but she is also struggling tremendously in the water. If you go to save your niece first, your daughter has a 40% chance of holding on until you can come back a second time. But if you go after your daughter, your niece has no chance of survival. Who are you going after first? You know- What the fuck? <laughs> What type of shit is that? Bro, I be hitting those questions sometimes because I'm like, damn, you really about to make me choose. That's bro. OD. Yo, you, you ever seen Lord. Sophie's Choice? Is it Sophie's Yo, why Choice? Not, why, why, why that sound so familiar? I think it's Sophie's Choice. It it's was a during, movie? It, yeah, it's a movie. Bro, I'm... Let me look at it. Nah, that sounds mad familiar, bro. I'm not I think lie. it's Sophie's Choice, bro. Nah, no, it's not, bro. It's not? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you're right. Yes, it is. It's it Sophie's is? Choice. Yes. That's what that is? Wait. No, it's not. Yeah, because I'm sure. Is it Schindler's List? <laughs> is it shit? Yo, I'm weak. Oh, hold on, wait. wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, that's not Sophie's choice, bro. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. Is it Schindler's List then? No, not Schindler's no, Is not it Schindler's, Schindler's List? <laughs> bro, hold on. What the fuck is Schindler's List? It's about the Jews, bro. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, exactly. Oh, exactly. Okay. <laughs> yes, bro. Okay, there's one movie. It's not Schindler's List, though. <laughs> bro, what's the movie where the daughter had to choose between her son and her uh her son and her daughter? Because basically, it was like they were. I think they were Jewish, and it was uh they were probably in Germany or something somewhere. And the Nazis was like, "Yo, one of your kids, you got to give up because one of your kids got to die." Type shit. Mm-hmm. What movie was that? That was in Schindler's List. Maybe. That was bro. That was. I have no idea, bro. Bro, it's one, bro. Oh my lord, I'm so mad. We watched it, Mr. Bliss mm-hmm. class, bro. You don't remember in religion? Wasn't it the, that was Schindler's List? No, that was that Schindler's List. Oh, I, mean, I know why it's Sophie's Choice now, but not. Nah, I know you're talking about. It was a. It was a movie. It was like a that. movie. It was like a a, a Nazi movie. It, it was like. You it don't know what we're talking about. No, I know what y'all oh, talking about. I have no bro, clue. Bro, it could have been. Is it Schindler's List? There's another. There's another 
movie like that. I don't know if it's the piano. No, it's not the piano. It's I'm bugging. I don't know. Bro, to hold on. What movie? Anyways. Anyway. <laughs> Bro, so basically, the movie was, it, uh, like I said, I just explained it. It was during, mm-hmm. like, World War II. And um, the Nazis was like, yo, you got to choose either your, your son or your daughter got to die. They was both kids. Like, they was both, no, like, f- f- four or five years old, right? Mm-hmm. Bro, she was like, yo. I mean, they was like, yo, if you don't um, choose one, we're taking both of them. Both of them is going to die. So then she was like, no, you can't have my kid. Like, she was not jacking it at all. Right. So then they were about to take both of them. She was like, all right, take my daughter. Yeah, bro. And then she started crying and shit. Wait, wasn't there like oh, a and spoof? Did she have like a red dress on? Yes. A red coat yes, on? Yes, 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 yes. Oh. I had seen a spoof of that. Like, I had seen something like oh. someone invaded somebody's crib. And like, I'm about to kill one of them. About. Like, you better choose one right now. And then, <laughs> nah, this shit is mad funny. But he was like, I'm about to blow this nigga's head out right now. If you don't choose one, mm-hmm. choose one. And she was like, okay, okay, here. Mm-hmm. And then he was like, all right, you see what just happened? Do it with that as you will. And they just walked out. Oh, shit. <laughs> yes. Girl, the red coat from Schindler's List. It's Schindler's List, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, okay. yeah, goodbye, Yuri. What? Bro, there was Why a Why the spoof. fuck did I say Sophie's Choice? <laughs> it does sound like some Sophie's <laughs> Choice ass shit. <laughs> that sound like it. You gotta make a choice. Bro, I looked, I looked at Sophie's Choice. Why the fuck is show Meryl Streep and shit? <laughs> 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 what is this? <laughs> what are you yeah. saying for him? No, I was saying there was a spoof of that. It was, it was like on Facebook a couple years ago, and uh-huh. it was like some home invasion. Some niggas just robbing the crib. Like, yo, give me everything. And if you don't give me everything, I'm gonna shoot one of your kids. And it was the mother like, no, don't shoot none of my kids. Don't shoot. One. She, it was like, I'm gonna shoot one of them. You gotta choose right now to maybe shoot one of them. And then he and she was like, okay, here, take this one. What was she chose? I think it was like the son or some shit. It was <laughs> son and the uh, it was the son and her daughter. Uh, and she gave the son. And she was like, take my son, take my son. And he was like, he looked at the son. And he was like. You see what she just did? Do with that information as you will. <laughs> and they all just walked out the crib. Oh. <laughs> they all just walked out the crib. And nigga son was looking at his mom like... <laughs> <laughs> nigga son was looking at his mom like, you about to kill me, bitch? <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. And then the video just ended. That shit had me oh, in knots, bro. I was so tight. What would y'all do, bro? Like, what do y'all like? All right, if I'm... I ain't gonna lie, though. <laughs> that motherfuckers never ran off. Hmm? Because they, the girl... The motherfuckers should not have ran off. Ran exactly. off like... Bitch, oh, we can swim. Like, we got fuck fucking... That. Don't we got shit in the car? First of all, neat, hold on. <laughs> let's, let's think about this. <laughs> My daughter know how to swim. Right. So she gonna run off in the pool, whatever. Don't run off, but like you ran off. Right. Motherfucker. Me, nigga, you, you know damn well your ass can't swim. What the fuck is you doing? <laughs> No, yeah. that ass. Like, why'd you even go follow your like, goddamn? Why would, like, why would I you do that? Kid, kitty shit. Kids, you know, kids gonna. Yeah, you kids know. are dumb. So okay. my riptide. Yeah, nigga, I can't swim. I can. Yeah, I can swim. Too. Right, but I'm gonna be the savior. Oh, you can't swim, no. so uh, so nigga, we all gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna die trying to get both? Yeah, of them. That's, that's, that's what I'm gonna that's do. It. I'm literally gonna die trying to save both of them. Damn. That may. Hey, that's not, right, that may not be the answer. That it might not be the answer, but bro, forty percent chance is a big chance. I but that's like, your see? fucking child. No, I know, but I'm saying forty percent is a big chance. Yeah, I'm like I'm one. I think I could take the. I could I take that forty percent chance. Thinking that forty uh-huh. percent was a big chance. Sixty mm-hmm. percent. Yeah, sixty percent is a lot more. It's better than tides. zero. It's yeah, better, it than zero. better than zero. Sharks. It is that better 40% than zero. Though is but forty. It's forty percent until you. I guess you can save her. Is it guaranteed that whoever you go after, they're gonna. Be saved, like no, no. Well, yeah, well, well she, they, yeah, they, yeah, but yeah. she, yeah, she was like, if you save the niece, mm-hmm. your daughter has a forty percent chance I, until you, you come, come back. back. I could do. I could. To, we might have to rock out with that. Yeah, I could. Yeah. I could live with forty percent, even though that's your child. Yeah, I'm, word. But but well, as see. a parent, I'm not a parent yet. So as yeah, a parent, yeah, yeah, I yeah. completely understand if you say fuck that. I'm going, I'm my, going for my, my kid, daughter. but I love my niece. Yeah, word. You gotta tell your brother or sister that this. Yeah, daughter, daughter, sisters, whatever. That yo, you're. Yeah, I say my child. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I feel like I could live. I feel like I could. Feel like God gonna be on my side with that forty percent chance. That's what. I, that's what yeah. I feel. I feel like I could mac out with that forty. So nobody chance. else on. The, where's where we at the beach? Yeah, yeah, no, ain't yeah. nobody. Ain't no lifeguards. Ain't nobody there, bro. Fuck that. That's weird. That's weird as <laughs> that's hell. Weird. Fuck her it's for coming real. up with that. So that's not. Fuck yeah. that. God, this is not real. Come on. We over here stressing ourselves the fuck yeah. out. <laughs> fuck out of here. Fuck that. <laughs> bro, okay, so remember, I, I don't know if you ever seen a LeVar Ball's interview with someone. I think it was on, I think it was on maybe uh, First Take mm-hmm. oh, or maybe okay. on maybe um, Undisputed, something. Mm-hmm. 
basically he said like, yo, you see how he got three boys? Yeah. He was like, yo, like, if one of your brothers is in trouble and y'all together, you better not come home. Mm. He said that. He said, yeah. you better not come home while your brother's still out there. Yeah. Oh. He said, like, say one of your brothers, something happened, like they get kidnapped something. Mm-hmm. He was like, I better not see you walk through this door. You better be out there looking for your brother. Right. I feel like right. the same, mm-hmm. you know what yeah. I'm saying? Oh, the same, the same way. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Like, I'm not about to be, I'm That's not going to. I'm, I'm not going to come home with one child like, yo. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing <laughs> I'm that. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. like, no. I'm yeah. not doing that. I'm going I'm to do whatever I got to do. Yeah. Like, That's what I'm saying. That 40% chance I'm going to have so, to live with it. Now, let me ask you a question. Mm. That Schindler's List. Uh-huh. What are you doing? I don't. I ain't gonna front. You oh, might have to take both my kids. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. I was. You, you know. What I'm thinking about. To take, they got a chance of surviving together. Yeah. Or either. No. I think. I think the son. I'm. I'm not sure, but I think they were gonna kill the kid. Like, oh, they're gonna kill him. I think so. Oh, kill me. Why you even? I'm like, yo, kill me. Because. Is it I don't me know. or the kids, or, or is it the kids or no, one kid? No, it's one of the kids. Yeah, and if neither they, they one said, is fuck both. you, one of the kids. <laughs> and if it's neither one, it's both. Exactly. I feel like, I feel like the, because that's basically you saying you, you're, pick, you're, you're picking, you're picking, picking one up. over the other. Yeah, you, you love one more than you the love other. one kid more I mean, than I would other. just, I put them on. Take care of your brother. Take care of your sister. Give them my hugs, my ice goodbyes. And, Cause bro, what the fuck? I'm not about to choose my, I'm, about I'm not about to choose. Cause then my kid gonna hate me. Yeah. Are you giving my fucking sister? Yeah. 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 Or, or, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. yeah. Say the other kid survive. Yeah. Oh fuck yeah! Oh, you uh, oh. <laughs> Get he escaped. He escaped. Yeah, escape with some shit. Nazi. And come kill my ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Fuck you. Oh, nah. oh, nah. oh, nah. oh that's how you do it with my fist. Oh bad. <laughs> Oh, my, like, like, my own Billy Orange story. <laughs> oh hell, Billy Orange oh, story. Hell. Yeah, bro. Nah, that's crazy. Like, wait, if you don't kill me, I'll go. go I'll go find you where the rest of them live. I'll go find the daughter. Now he gonna kill the brother the gr- too because yeah. oh, you know who got oh. to survive? I bet both of y'all getting mm-hmm. clapped. Man, that's od. Yeah, that is od. Damn. This is dramatization, not real. Yeah, we're not. Yeah, not yet, Damn. Yeah. that that Damn. is that. I, c- I couldn't I ever, I c- <laughs> bro. I be thinking, son. Because okay, shit like this really happens. Yes. No, that that water shit could really happen. Like, the, yeah, the bro. That's beach stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, that's I be like thinking, bro. I be like, yo, bro. Like, the way I am, mm-hmm. I'm super paranoid. Word. Like, okay, so I, I, word. I remember my sister was born. Right. Mm-hmm. I would dead ass wake up in the middle of this. Like, I would wake up mm-hmm. my sleep and mm-hmm. always go check. My sister mm-hmm. to see if like she's breathing or some shit. Mm-hmm. But that's good though. Cause like I always be thinking like, yo, what if like, cause you know how kids can't lift their head? Mm-hmm. No, they could die and they yeah. sleep. Yeah, bro, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, what if their head is in the oh, fucking hello. pillow or some shit? Yeah, you can't yeah, breathe, breathe, bro. Yeah. Or sometimes, cause my mom used to have her sleeping in, in the bedroom. Bed mm-hmm. I would that ass go check to make sure my mom not suffocating so, my, yeah, my, yeah. my sister, bro. Yeah, roll over by for real, like roll over by. But my mom mm-hmm. would, my mom yeah. never did that. Like never. Like, but I'm too paranoid. Like. I'm not ready for kids right now, financially, mentally, yeah, like, nah. That's so parents. crazy, though, that, yeah. like, like how, damn, like, how heavy of a sleeper you gotta be to roll over your, your child yeah. and, like, not feel them. Because yeah. I, when I roll yeah, over, yeah, I feel, feel anything, like, yeah. when my brother, I sleep, with, me and my brother sleep in the same bed, and when mm-hmm. that nigga, like, slightly touches me, yeah. I kick that nigga, like, I be waking <laughs> up, so I'm like, I would feel a body, like, yeah. like some you don't feel like, uncomfortable, like. Some people are heavy sleepers, bro. That's crazy. Yeah. Damn. I'm a light sleeper, so. Yeah, I'm an OD like statement. That's just because I had like mad siblings, like just growing up and like having to be aware of all the fucking time. I don't. I think I don't think I'm a. I don't know if I'm a light sleeper or not. Like I don't know. Like I know if I hear something, I'll be like, "The fuck was that?" Like if I'm sleeping mm-hmm. and I hear some shit, I'll be like, "The." F-. Actually, I might be lying, bro. I might be knocked out, bro. Might be knocked out, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'd be knocked out, bro. I'd be, I'd be knocked out. Bro. <laughs> be, be knocked out. <laughs> yo, we be, yo, we be making the utmost. Like, yo, we out there doing foolishness, and this nigga might be. <laughs> no, nah. Speaking of yeah, tides I I, and I shit and water, bro. Uh-huh. I dead. I almost drowned one time with my cousin. Yeah, I drowned. No, I didn't drown. Look at me. Lying. <laughs> <laughs> I almost drowned one time in the pool. We was in St. Vincent, and I almost drowned in the pool. But then, like, it's so fucked up. I gaslit him to think that I really wasn't drowning. So, like, when when he helped, when he helped me out the water, because I was really fucked up. Like, I was drowning. Like, about to die. Yeah. That nigga came and got me. 
As soon as I got the one, I was like, ah, yeah. you stupid nigga. I wasn't trying it for real. But your ass got you. dying. Yeah. Ah. I ain't wanted to really panic, but I was trying to make light of the Yo. situation. I was like, nigga, I wasn't drowning. You know yeah. I could swim, nigga. Yeah. And my, my heart was racing and shit. I was like, damn, bro. I'm fucked up for that low key. You know what? I almost drowned, bro. I swim in class, bro. In front of everybody. Like, <laughs> bro, they, they. So the swim class, like, there was, a, there was a lesson where, okay, everybody got to jump in the water. Mm-hmm. Like, do a. Dive mm-hmm. and go under. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm not trying to do that. <laughs> like, I swim class. My dad like, go ahead, cause all the parents in the stand I swim class. Everybody, so I did it, bro. And I died, bro. And I wasn't coming back up. <laughs> I'm like, oh, <laughs> 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 oh, oh, oh. <laughs> everybody's looking at me. And they're like, you know, that instructor's like, what? <laughs> oh, this thing's not joking. Yeah. So now they they jump in. Everybody save me. I'm on the. <gasps> my dad's like, just looking at me like, mm-hmm. you're like, oh, this guy's crazy. <laughs> What? See, like, he embarrassed me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh. What, bro? Your kid almost bro, died. He just did, like, he like, come got me. He's like, you wasn't drowning, man. He's like, come on, man. Come on, like, nigga. Yo, yo. <laughs> that reminds me of Kevin Hart. Oh, <laughs> nigga, yo. mama looking at him like, I was lost. This nigga laughed it off. Was like, oh, let's just get something to eat. I'm like, yo, this nigga what really was know? tight that I was drowning. <laughs> nigga said he's embarrassed. This is so embarrassing. Yo, that's so crazy. That's so crazy. Bro. Yo, speaking of sleep though, bro, you want to know what's bro? I be thinking I'm about to die in my sleep, bro. Oh, you want to know why? No, you want to know why? <laughs> I be getting sleep paralysis, right? Oh, you mm-hmm. just say you be doing it here, no, bro. You. But my sleep paralysis is like. OD, like I dead ass get that shit way too often. Oh, like you get it like, mm. like more than like, say you would get like what twice a month type shit. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's a lot. That's a lot. Cause niggas get that once in the blue moon. <laughs> nah, bro. I, I like because the way how it is, right? How do you sleep in that, bro? Huh? Like how do you sleep? Cause bro, <laughs> if you sleep on your back, uh huh. Then yeah. Yeah. Because if I sleep on my back, it's quiet. Dude, I'm like, you're not, you're not supposed to sleep on your back, yeah. bro. Oh, really? Once I sleep on my back, a demon is frightening me and my sleep like, for like, it. Like, that's, like, that's, that's the gateway. Like, yeah, <laughs> that, like, you sleep on your back, bro? Yeah, that's, that's an like, open welcome. That's a welcome sign. Yeah. <laughs> no, for real. <laughs> no, for real. <laughs> that's an open body <laughs> right there. You got to be careful, bro. Once I sleep I on my know that. yeah, that's why I sleep on my stomach. I sleep on my back. Nah, bro. Sleep on your back, bro. Yeah, sleep on your back is quiet. Put a pillow. You putting a pillow there, mm-hmm. sleeping, bro. Where? Nah, yeah, bro. I heard that. I heard that. I heard. Yeah, I heard. I heard it's good for you, but for, yeah, but I heard. But bro, every time I sleep on my back, it happens. That's why I don't sleep on my back. And if I, I be finding myself about to sleep on my back, and it, I feel like it's about to happen, and I wake up. And oh, <laughs> I wake up and damn, bitch. <laughs> that shit hurt. Oh my god. Nah, that yeah, shit hurt. That shit hurt, bro. Damn. <laughs> Intermission. <laughs> no, for real. Because <laughs> that's OT. Yo. Damn. Yo. I know them niggas hurt the fuck out of that yeah, shit. Nigga damn. hit the shit out. Did it hit your funny bone or? Yeah, nah, bro. it just hit my elbow for real, but that shit hurt. Nigga, you ever hit your funny bone and your arm feel like yeah, it died, yeah. bro? Yeah, yeah bro. Nah. That should be the worst. I hate that, that shit. shit is that a shit hard works. reset, nigga. That shit is OD. For <laughs> Static and shit. <laughs> nigga, you feel, like you ever seen the TV, like the TV yeah. static? Yeah, like, that's, that's how your army feels. Feel that, that shit is a malfunction, up, for real. Damn, man. Yeah, but I'll be waking up and turning the fuck over because. <laughs> I wonder what's. I look, you want to get it just to see what I do. You never you can't been do anything. S- never, no, I feel like I would be able to just. You think you're just going to be that one, nigga? Yeah. <laughs> no. I've never got that shit, bro. Bro, you I don't can't, want it, but like I you want to see what the fuck will happen. Bro, you can't. Bro, it'd be times I had sleep paralysis next to my mom, and I was tight because she couldn't fucking hear me. I was like, yo, I was screaming at you. Like she was like, really? I'm like, you wasn't saying nothing. I'm like, bro, I was like, wait, so <laughs> am I like I'm like yeah, this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm nothing's coming out. Because I don't really know what it is. Break this down, right? Hold on. So you're telling me, my nigga, you're sleeping, mm-hmm. and then you wake up, but you can't move. Move anything. At most, it's like a slight. Because for me, I don't know if my I, eyes I don't know aren't if it's wide a, open. But no. my eyes aren't wide open. Like it's like my eyes are like this, like low. Mm-hmm. Like I'm in the middle of a wake and asleep. So basically, you're in the rim. so yeah. So basically, your brain thinks you're still asleep, but you're, but you're dead awake. Like you, like no, I think it's the opposite. Oh. Your brain is still asleep. 
Your but brain is awake, but your body. Your is body asleep? is asleep. Yeah. There we go. Mm-hmm. Or your there brain. We go. Your, your brain, brain is up, your but your body is still sleeping. Up, but your body is still oh sleeping. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So you really can't do shit. You can't nope. do anything. But it's not. It's not for mad long. It's not for mad long. It's that ass for like. I don't know. I never. Like, I don't I, know. I, in my head, it's long, but it might. In my be like, head, it's long. It, it might be like three, five minutes. Yeah. Maybe not even that long, because that's really? kind of long. It, I, five minutes. I don't know. It might not be that long. It might be. It that might be like two minutes. Maybe like two. minutes. But in your head, that shit is going off for forever. Do y'all niggas dream that much? Like, do y'all be do y'all be getting dreams? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I be dreaming. I dream. I dream a yeah, lot. Yeah, and dream sometimes a lot too. my my dreams are like very scary. Niggas be like, oh, everybody gets dreams, but you don't remember them. Mm-hmm. I remember. I don't like, dream. What? No, bro. At first, at first, right? Uh huh. I used to dream. Okay. I don't know what the fuck happened. <laughs> bro. <laughs> bro, I literally don't know. I don't know if I hit my head too hard or some shit. Uh huh. Literally, bro, I do not dream. I haven't had a dream in years. Like, I haven't had a dream, bro. Like, I've had, bro, it's been complete me sleeping, trying to sleep. I just be feeling like I'm sleeping, but, bro, I've never, bro, I be, bro, I be tossing and turning, uh-huh. but I'm sleeping. Yes. Yeah. So, like, I'm just, like, I'm sleeping, but I'm, like, up. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know how I'm sleeping. Like, when I get sleep, bro, I'm sleeping. Mm-hmm. But, like, I'm not sleeping. You're bro. not dreaming. Yeah, I'm, I don't dream, bro. I don't dream about anything. Bro. Interesting. But you've had dreams before. I had dreams Do you remember before. any of them? Yeah, I remember okay. sort of them. But so, other than that, bro, I don't dream. Bro. And niggas not going to, don't tell me, oh, you dream. No, no, no. I'm telling y'all, I don't dream. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, you don't, you don't remember. Yeah. Nigga, the cops like, no, everybody dreams. Yeah. It's kind of okay. I think there's no. people who I think there's people who deadass do not do dream, not though. Dream, like, who've never had a dream. They just oh, don't dream. Word? Yeah, I think so. That would be crazy. That might be some type of something. I'll be having fun with my dream. I'll be thinking about the shit I'm going to dream before I go to sleep. Like, that's just, I don't know if that's just me, but like, I'll be like, like if I'm listening to music, I put myself in like a little scenario of what, like, I just feel like at the, in the moment, or like whatever the music feel like. Mm-hmm. And I put myself on a little world, doze off, take my headphones out, and then for, for, for real go to sleep. And then I'm in that dream that I was thinking about. Interesting. I don't know if that's my superpower or not. But it's something that people. Do y'all know what a lucid dream is? Yeah, we spoke about it a little bit. Lucid dreaming is a little bit different, though. Lucid dreaming is that that's like you got to put yourself in a mellow state for a minute. And then you got to relax your body. Don't think about it. Don't move. Don't do nothing for like mad long. And then your body starts to ease and fade away to sleep. And then you like, but your mind is still conscious enough to. And then it's like once you finally fall asleep, you could move and walk around and stuff like that. I never had a. I've never. I, had a I tried it when I was maybe like in high school. I. I don't know if I successfully did it, but I tried it at least a couple of times in high school. Maybe once or twice I might have successfully People who know did how it. to do it. Yeah. Like, like, yeah, like yeah. how the fuck, like what the fuck? Yeah, That might take some well, intense well, meditation. It's dead shit. meditation, yeah. You dead gotta like, I remember because I saw a picture on like, right, this is back like Tumblr days. I dead seen it as like, you dead gotta like chill. For, you dead gotta like stay completely, you know, not even, not moving, like just relax for like mad long. And when you find yourself starting to doze off, and then you trying to, you kind of keep, it's like you know you about to fall asleep, but you keep yourself up in your brain or some shit. I could look it up so I don't miss information, but it's like you keep yourself up a little bit enough so that way once you do fall asleep, now you're in the dream world. Now you're in your dream actually can you, controlling. Can you get lost in there and never come back out. Like on some Inception shit? Oh, I never seen Inception. Oh, you never seen Inception? <laughs> okay. But in, in, in Inception? In the dream world. They're, they're like, yeah, like he, contr- like he can tell. He basically has lucid dreams. Like he can, and in order, no, no, I'm lying. Okay. He doesn't know he's dreaming. Mm. Like in Inception, oh, they thinks. don't know if they're dreaming or not. So oh. they have certain things that, that basically tell you if you're dreaming or not. So like he has this, what's them things called? Them toys that spin? Fidget? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he spins it and if it stops spinning, he knows that he's awake in real life. But if it doesn't stop spinning, he knows he's dreaming. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. okay, okay, okay. And you could dead ass get stuck. Mm-hmm. In your dream, like you can get stuck. Yo, because these, you know how they make movies, bro. Uh huh. But like, are these just based on real shit? I don't know. Because what if niggas are really stuck in your in their dream, right? Mm-hmm. In comas? Do you dream in a coma? Oh, wow. I, I think. think I or do you? Or because some people wake up from a coma and think it's only been like nineteen, yeah, like yeah, a couple minutes, a couple or minutes. Or yeah. Yeah. I, I still think so. I think whatever what happened in their brains, it just seemed like it went like that. Because I think in comas, they be like, I heard you. Like they, I think comas. Some people in comas are aware of their surroundings. Like they hear the people that's talking. They know who's talking. Mm. They just can't talk or respond. I would hate that. Yeah. Yeah. So like 
I'm home. Yeah, like people, people when they're in coma, I have some stories, I don't know if everybody, but some stories, they be like, when I was in a coma, like they hear their mom come in and like cry. They hear their sister, whatever, the family, girlfriend, whatever, come in. They hear them. They literally just can't do anything. Like they just oh, stuck. Oh, that's, I would hate that. I'll pull the plug. <laughs> I would hate that. You pull the plug on yourself? Yeah. Or, Mm-mm. Why? Not me. You better, you better fix me, nigga. Yeah. You better, coma? Yeah. If you're like in a vegetative state, yeah. well, then that. Yeah, then if that. If there's no hope. Oh, whoa. Well. But it if depends, there's hope. Though. Yeah, if there's hope, bitch, okay. you gotta keep that shit in. I'm bugging. Because now nah, there's been comas for like 10 years. Like, yeah, that's going deep. That. No. I don't wanna be aware that I'm in a coma for 10 years. I can't, no. Yeah, like, nah, but that's the thing. I'm wondering if that's like what you said. They feel like it would just been like, you know, 10 days. Oh, I don't. Nigga, 10 days is OD. Still ten days is still OD, but at least you didn't know that it was ten years. When you wake up, you like it's been ten years. You got a full beard and hair and shit, <laughs> like on some Avatar shit for mm-hmm. real. Imagine, <laughs> yeah. that's crazy. So speaking of oh, going back to dreams because I want to tell y'all how I almost be dying when I'm sleep, yeah. pa- like when I'm paralyzed in my sleep. So anyways, yeah. going back to dreams though, y'all ever been in a dream, bro? <laughs> And y'all be trying to run from something, and you running mad slow? Yo, it's either I run mad slow, or my feet don't know how to hit the ground properly. Like, I be running on my heels or some Bro, shit. Bro, I've always, like, there's danger, mm-hmm. and I'm, I'm dead ass trying to be out, <laughs> but I physically can't. Like, I'm it feels like a, It feels like so I'm running in water. Weird. You ever ran in water? Yes. That's how it be yeah. feeling for me. Like, I be running, and then just be like, <laughs> I'm not going nowhere, but my feet are just like... Trying to grip the ground, but I barely, I'm barely going anywhere. It be pissing me off because the danger be, be right on your neck, and I'm like, "Yo, can I go, son?" Or like, you ever tried? To, you ever had a fight? In your yo, dream? I be fighting mad <laughs> slow. But I you be can't like, yo, fight properly. Fuck? Yeah, I be like, "What the fuck?" I be trying to like, I be, I be trying to. I be getting washed up. in my dreams sometimes. Nah, I, I be, be tight. Get, I don't be getting washed. We both be just moving mad slow. <laughs> like we both be moving mad. Like I'm trying to swing, but I swing mad, mad slow. slow. Sometimes I dreamed like I'm. That ass not I don't move. That's weird. You never had no action shit? I don't shit. move slow. No. Really? No, it's sometimes. Yeah, not sometimes, all the time. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes, yeah, sometimes, sometimes. Yeah. I never experienced that. Yeah. yeah. Up until like recently, because before I used to not get washed, but like the fight wouldn't go nowhere. Mm-hmm. Up until like recently, I was like, nah, I got to beat this nigga ass for real. <laughs> <laughs> like in one of my dreams, I dead ass was fighting like on some ninja shit. I'm like, bro, I got to control that. Or like in my dreams, bro, if I'm trying to like, so say, so there's situations in my dreams where like I'm basically... I have to prove myself. Like mm-hmm. somebody thinks I did something, I did it, and I'm like, "Yo, I didn't do that." I'm mm-hmm. trying to explain myself, mm-hmm. and I can't. Like oh, I have like mush t- mouth. Oh, wow. mm. Like I have mush mouth, mm-hmm. and like it's like either my teeth are too big for my mouth or something. Like mm-hmm. I really can't talk properly, bro. So people don't understand what I'm saying. That's crazy. And I looked that up. I forgot Derridactor. what it means. <laughs> <laughs> like not physically, like not physically, but I really cannot get words like, out. Like, something wrong. It's like I can't get That's words crazy. out. I don't know what the fuck that is. I've had dreams where I was going like through immense emotional trauma, like on some like somebody died. Like, yeah, I, like I, knock I on just wood, had one like that. Knock on wood, so. my, a lot of my family don't really like. I don't have a lot of dead family members. Like, yeah, God, yeah, like yeah. thankfully, like a lot of my family members live long, healthy right. lives. Yeah, knock yeah, on yeah, wood. Right. So it's like, I don't, I don't think I would be able to cope with that if something of that was okay. to happen. And I hate. I low-key hate, it's a blessing and it's a curse because I like. the exact same way. Yeah, it's a blessing and a curse because I'm grateful that they're alive, but then when that time comes, mm-hmm. I don't know how I'll be able to, because I've never been through it. That, like, right? Been through it. So mm-hmm. then I'll be having dreams where like, say like, my auntie or like my grandfather, knock on wood again, one of them passes away and then my, my, just my soul or whatever is in the dream is just going through like immense That's emotional, crazy. like wailing, like my, wow. my, my soul be wailing, like, and then I wake up thinking I'm crying. I'm like, and I call my grandfather, like, yo, you good, bro? <laughs> like, I, but I, I, like, my whole, and then when I wake up, I feel it. Like, it's so, it's, it's like so connected to me when I'm in my dream. Like, I felt like I was dead. I was like bawling. Mm-hmm. And I don't, I haven't, I don't be crying like that. So I'm like, when I wake up, I'm like, what the fuck was that? Like, why do I feel that way still? I had a dream like that. Like, but I had you, my girl died. And like, my man's died, bro. Mm-hmm. By like, like, niggas was chasing us type shit. Like, mm-hmm. on some, like, yo. on some, like, what's that shit called? I'm a fucking dumbass movie. The Prey. Who? Fuck that. What the fuck is The Purge? Oh, The oh, Purge. Yeah, yeah. Some okay. shit like that, mm-hmm. bro. And that's all the dreams I've, I've had. Like, yeah, people yeah. just died. Yeah, yeah, What yeah. the fuck? And I'm just like, damn, only one left. Like, fuck. And, that's, and, that, and then after that, I stopped dreaming, bro. Like, I was like, no, I'm just dreaming. Nigga said, I'm good off this dreaming <laughs> shit. I'm good. I'm just I'm not going to do it no more. I've never dreamed again, bro. <laughs> that's crazy. I've yeah. never dreamed again, bro. That's crazy. It's like three dreams about everybody dying. I'm like, mm-hmm. 
Yeah. All things supposed to be like this. Yeah, where, wow. Well, like, I know I don't really be like when I have dreams like that. I don't like old people always tell you like dreams don't walk straight. So uh-huh. I never think like every time they say that I'm like, all right, at least it's not like you know. Yeah, niggas be like, oh, what's it inter? Is, 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 yeah, because a lot of times else. death doesn't even mean in death, death yeah, in like, real life. Exactly. It means like life or like Surgeons something. Or something. Yeah, something yeah, so. in real life. So it's like I take it like that, and I, that's how I flush that energy because I'm yeah, like, yeah, facts. I don't need to have that thought in my head. Yeah, but I I feel the exact same way. Like most of my family's alive, bro, mm-hmm. and the only loss that we had was my great grandmother. Yeah, but she lived a like, long yeah, life, dude, and I knew her so since it's I was like able to young. accept that type right. shit. And I knew her since I was like a kid, like when we go to the Jamaica and we would mm-hmm. be with her or whatever. And then she moved here, so she lived downstairs. Mm-hmm. She passed away, and I'm like, she dead ass lived a long yeah, ass yeah, life. Yeah, so, so I'm yeah, like, it's easy to you know, you, you know sad that she's gone, that. but it's yeah, like, yeah. yeah. But other than that, bro, everybody yeah, else that I know, yeah. everybody's alive. Like, yeah, I didn't like a lot of people. That's the same thing. Like a lot of people who pass away in my family be like. Live like like my my great great grandfather. We call him Dada in Saint Vincent. He was like the oldest man in Saint Vincent. That nigga was like one hundred eight. Oh damn! Oh, yeah. No. So it's like I and gotta it, go ahead. No, I was just saying. So it's like a lot of a lot of my family be passing away like that, just from old age. Mm-hmm. It's never really like on some like sudden shit. So it's like so I don't know. It, like God forbid that if that was to happen, I don't. It's, I don't think it's gonna happen because a lot of my family is like healthy and like. But it's like I would not know how to cope and with that. Like, me neither. I, I wouldn't know, know how, how to handle that. I wouldn't know how. Yes, that's what. Like, I'm scared of that. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's a I blessing, but it's yeah. also like yeah. a curse. Yeah, especially, it's that's also crazy when like when you hear other people's shit and like all the shit they go through, mm-hmm. the trauma, all the like yeah. baggage and like shit like that. Yeah. They'd be like, damn, if that happened to me, what the yeah. fuck would I do? What the fuck would I do? Because exactly. I because people yeah. losing their mom and dad, same yeah, like yeah, type same, shit, Yeah, and they brother, I'm like, god. Damn, like what? <laughs> that's not funny. <laughs> that's, not funny that's, that's not funny. I'm sorry, people. <laughs> that's not funny, bro. There was this. Like, yo, yo, like, like, <laughs> like God damn. Like, that, that's od. Yeah, that is od. Like, like you, like you chilling, and then your whole God forbid, your whole family they going on like a, a tri- drive a tri- or whatever, yeah. and they all in the car. All in the and car. Then, and then, that's I, crazy. I, 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 I tell myself too. Yeah. I'm like, uh, <laughs> what am I gonna be here for, bro? Bro, that's crazy. Do y'all want the more? I be thinking about it. I if, think about it if too. if everybody around me is here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if everybody around me is just gone, why, mm-hmm. bro? I I I, 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 I want to live long. Have a contingency but. plan. What? You said what? <laughs> There's a cutoff. <laughs> what you mean by that, bro? <laughs> <laughs> just, well, I'm gonna lie. It's gonna it's, it's gonna get a little a little. Listen, bro. I do want to live long, yes. Listen, bro. Okay. Define long. I don't want to die, bro. Bro, listen, bro. <laughs> Y'all not scared of dying? Not early. 85. 85? Young. Once. <laughs> I'm sorry, reach 85, bro. <laughs> I, can under- I can understand that, though. So, it's only two years, bro, that I have. After 85, oh. bro. <laughs> <laughs> I told somebody this plan. I told you, he they, said he has a plan. And they was, they were, bro, they was like, they was not trying to, they are not trying to laugh, but like, they was laughing. <laughs> I was like, bro, listen, bro, this, this is going to happen. Because <laughs> I know, bro, I, I, bro, I see it. I don't want to pass, I don't want to pass 85, bro. Why? Bro, everybody, bro, I, bro, they just be looking so like, you know, somebody that's 95, 94, they just be looking really like, bro, who, like, they don't want to be here type shit. Or, <laughs> nigga, they can't, they can't, bro, yeah. They can't even say nothing. They're just in the wheelchair. Can't talk. That's not all the time, though. Not like, all the time, like, but... There's some people who are dead ass. like... No, you're right. No, you're right. You know? But knowing me... <laughs> ah! <laughs> so, like, bro, basically, like, bro, that's what I'm going to do, bro. I'm going to have all... So, you're saying basically after all your strength is going, you just like, bro, you, all right, just take me. Bro, 80, bro, I know 85 probably is shit going to stop, stop, like, going to decline for me. Mm-hmm. Listen, bro. I'm, listen, bro. I'm probably going to have some grandchildren by then. Uh-huh. Listen, man. <laughs> like, let me watch my grandchildren. I asked to watch my grandchildren. You gonna pass away in front of your grandchildren? Not in front. I'm gonna While they there, I'm gonna go in the room, right? No, actually, I'm gonna tell my grand. I'm gonna tell my grandchildren. Nah, I'm not gonna do that to them. No, actually, fuck. I'm gonna tell the point. Go in, go in the store, get me some candy, right? And I'm like, what kind of candy? Like, give me some Snickers. Give me no shit with nuts in it. Snickers. <laughs> 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 For those who don't know, Kabai's allergic to peanuts. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god, if you're new here, Kabaza lives to penis, and that's why that's so fucked up. Because this nigga is sending his grandchildren on a murder case. Oh my, my god. I'm gonna go in my room. I'm gonna turn on whatever fucking music. I'm gonna eat them fucking stickers and all them fucking, all them fucking nuts. And I won't even remember what's going on. You know, you gonna make your kids regret the day that their grand, Yo, that their children were born. Nick is going to scar them for oh life, bro. They ain't gonna never want Snickers again, bro. Bro, your yeah. kids are gonna be mad as fuck at their kids bro, might, for might, doing that to their I father. Do, I might just do it myself. Bro, myself. yes. Why you gotta bring your grandkids? Yeah. In it, bro? <laughs> I'm gonna be able to walk to the fucking store, so somebody gotta do it. <laughs> this shit gotta get done. Bro. Oh my god, son. Nah, bro. <laughs> Uh, just there now your kids shit. is like it's not your grandkids like oh my god I killed grandpa yo that's that was a, oh, it, it was a plan but you know as as life goes on <laughs> it might change you know no. No. but you know that was Brian I had that plan for a couple couple of years <laughs> <laughs> I want to live long hundred plus all right that's cool um but yo so let me explain to y'all my whole sleep paralysis thing right because I've gotten sleep paralysis sleeping on my stomach bro. Oh, really? Okay, so maybe bro, my shit is, I don't, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's different. That's different. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <I> really <laughs> <love it. laughs> That's different. So, um, bro, damn. so one day, right, I accidentally did it on purpose. Like, I accidentally got sleep paralysis on purpose. Oh. Mm-hmm. So, oh, I knew fun. I was tired. Like, when, it was one day after work, bro. Mm-hmm. I was taking a nap. I knew I was tired, bro. Mm-hmm. But I was like, nah, fuck that. Like, let me stay up. So I fell asleep, right? I was falling asleep, and I was like, nah, fuck that. I'm gonna stay up. So I was, try- I was forcing myself to stay up, mm-hmm. but my body already shut down. Right. So my body shut down. My body was ready to sleep. I was awake. So I was like, oh shit, I can't move. Right. Man. I dead ass couldn't move. This is when I was on my back, laying on my back. Right? right. Fine. Cool. Whatever. After a while, like after like maybe two minutes, mm-hmm. my body shut down. Got- no, oh. my body. Oh, turn on. Oh. And I was Gucci. Like, I got up. I was like, fuck out of here. I'm not doing that. Went back to bed. I was like, I'm going to sleep now, yeah. right? So now there was one time, bro, this used to happen as a kid. Still oh, happens wow. as an adult. Bro, I was sleeping on my stomach, right? I remember my head was like, basically, my head was, you know, on a pillow. But then out of nowhere, like, my face was in the pillow. Oh, and then out of nowhere, my body went paralyzed. Oh, no. oh yeah, I no. had that happen to me. Like See, okay, my once. face no, was in the twice. pillow, bro. No, I would have died. And, bro, <laughs> I would, yeah, I would have died. That was it, bro. And I had a cold, bro. So my no, yeah. bro. I had I a had cold. My nose was time. stuffy, bro. I could not breathe, bro. I could not breathe, bro. I was just praying to God. I'm like, yo, God, please, like, <laughs> let me wake the fuck bro, up. I would have died, bro. <laughs> My face was in a pillow. I couldn't move. My mom came in the room. I was like, Mom, please move my fucking body, bro. She just thought I was sleeping. Gonna close the door. I'm like, Jesus Christ, <laughs> <laughs> There be no fucking help, bro. No help, you bro. Think. You see my face in the pillow, nigga. You just gonna close the door, bro? Now you decide to mind your business. Every other day you want to be in my business. Yeah, I be hating crazy. when I get sleep paralysis next to somebody because I'm like, bro, I'm crying Nick, for bro. help right now, bro. And you're not helping I me, told bro. My, bro, I had to warn my girl like in advance because I had got sleep paralysis next to her one time and I could not move. Mm-hmm. And I said, babe, like if you ever see me like sleep par- like pra- paralyzed and my face is in a pillow, bro, please just move my head. Mm-hmm. Give me some air like Give yeah. my airway so yeah. You feel me? I literally had to tell her that, bro. Bro, I be feeling like people who are next to you, if they see you, I feel like that's the 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 release. Like, as soon as they touch you, it's like your body just come back. Uh-huh. So I'm like, bro, because that happened when I was next to Shima. She was just on her phone, yeah. on TikTok, loud as ever. But I'm going through a whole sleep panic in my mind right now. I woke up like, <gasps> yo, <laughs> like, you're not going to fucking help me. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I was so pissed off. Like, you ain't just see me dying, yo. shaking my head for life just now, bro. son. She's like, no. I'm like, I be bro. trying to yell for help, but yes. I can't because I'm pat. Like, I can't. Yeah. Oh, can you die? Like, no, I don't, I don't think so. Nah, I don't your, think. I don't know if they. I don't nah. know if your body will allow you I don't to think, die. Nah, I don't think you can die. I from think as soon as you you brain you start to lose that much oxygen, your body just kicks into survive mode. Right. Yeah. Like so. When I was when I was like when I thought I was about to die, I was praying to God like, Yo, God, please, right? And out of nowhere, bro, I was able to move. Mm-hmm. I was Gucci. So I don't think your body like because your brain is your brain is when you're when you when you have sleep paralysis, mm-hmm. your brain is awake. I believe it's just your body. Right. So then once. Your brain realizes oh, you're in danger, or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, so, so it goes. turns your like your uh, body. You know, what yeah, I'm saying? it goes like, into like 
just right like, survival. exactly so yeah wow but that shit is cool. nah, that's why that's why bro that's why i refuse to sleep on my stomach bro because if mm-hmm. my face is in the pillow bro oh, so i try sleeping nah, on the side i i no nah, i i'm lying i do be sleeping i'm lying i do be sleeping on my stomach <laughs> i just i just i just make sure my face yeah is on feel the, me uh, yeah yes, a lot bro. of times now i make sure i have like a little pocket right here so yeah. just in case if i do i, I can breathe oh, some shit like that bro damn bro Bro, That's Trump times. No, I don't want to no, experience that. Bro. Yeah, bro. Crazy. <laughs> you don't want to experience, bro. You don't want to experience it with your face in a pillow yeah, no, with no, no breathing. No, no, no. I would with no, no, I know, no I would airway. Die. But there would be no comeback, nigga. If you're, if you're, if it's not, it's not like it's not scary. Well, it's, it's scary. scary. I've heard it's some other shit. stories about that shit, like what? demons becoming. Oh, nah, oh it nah. feels like it. They are, nah, I mean, they be like I seen the demon looking at me. Oh, you ever wake the fuck up, nigga? And does ain't it like? Connected to that shit? Like, they say so. I, that, no, I've, I've, I just I've be paralyzed. Seen, yeah. I don't be seeing no demons. But they like say that. that the reason that happens I'm is that there's that ass, uh, there's that ass, like a, a, a embodiment of something holding you down. That's why they say that happens. I try not to think about it like that because I don't like thinking about it like that. But if you think about it like that, you're, not, you're gonna be ten times more scared because you're like get the fuck off. <laughs> like as no. soon as somebody you like yo get the fuck off. No me. word, bro. Like the fuck. That's. Bro, but you know what I hate about fucking sleep? You ever fuck around and like just wake up out of nowhere and then like everything just looks scary as shit? Like you ever seen like a like mm-hmm. your your mm-hmm. eyes just see something like on the yeah. wall or on the on the your, <laughs> the nigga. jacket now looks like a fucking Slenderman? Fucking like gargoyle. everything just look like nigga. horror shit to you as soon as you wake up, bro. Not that hasn't happened to me, but you ever woke up in a crib alone? And you just be like, why the fuck is it so fucking quiet? quiet. Mm-hmm. Nigga, I be checking. I be, nigga, I be ready, nigga. I be checking every closet. I be in the bathroom like, yo, who wants smoke, nigga? Like, I be checking under the bed. Bro, really scary, bro. I, bro, I be like, yo, who in my crib right now, bro? Like, don't don't fuck around, nigga. That shit do be scary, bro. that bro. shit be crazy, bro. Like, or ever, like, you ever be taking a shit? Shout, oh, Nigga, you ever shout. be taking a shit and the curtain is closed? <laughs> you be checking the curtain like, yo, who in the shower, bro? Bro, I be like, back in the bro. curtain. I be... That's I'll be back in the curtain. I don't care. I'm, cool. I'm, I'm like, I'm cool. I'm glad we I don't give a fuck about nothing. Bro. I don't got yeah, I don't got a curtain. I got a seat. Yeah, I got a glass. Yeah, slide, oh, glass shit. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, so that shit? Oh, bro. I... Yeah, bro. I'm like, yo, who the fuck? I'll be thinking like, I don't know. Who, bro? <laughs> no, for real. Ghosts nah. fucking... I don't know, but I'll be, be, be like, bro, yo, nah. You know what's also funny about sleep? That be happening to me. You ever have like either music or TV show? And it's like everything that the people are saying in the show. It's mad loud. Ma- no? It's mad loud, but it's like it's happening. Like say you're dreaming mm-hmm. while you're watching TV or listening to music. It's like the the words coming in your dream is the same shit that's on the TV. That ever happened to y'all? No. Never? Bro, that be happening to me sometimes. I'm going to ask the viewers, bro, I be sleep and say I'm listening to a song or I'm watching like Martin or some shit, whatever, whatever show is on at the moment. Mm-hmm. It's like my dream is saying the exact same shit that's on the TV at the exact same time. So I'm, so whatever, it's like something completely different could be happening in my dream, Mm -hmm. but the words are exactly the same. Mm -hmm. The words are exactly the same. And I'd be waking up baffled because I'm like, how the fuck did you know yeah. They were saying that, like, yeah. my, I'll be asking my brain, like, how the fuck did you know them niggas was talking like that for real? Wow. Bro, same, I, and it could be an episode or a show that I've never seen, mm-hmm. but the words are still all the same when I, and then I will wake up in the middle of the night, like, what the fuck? Like, remembering the dream buzz, like, the words were the exact same shit, bro. Yo, let me know if I'm crazy, crazy. or let me know if y'all with me on this. Uh, interesting. I, I've never, mm-hmm. I don't think I got that deep into dreaming, so I don't know. Y'all ever had a fire ass dream? A fire ass dream, yeah. like I'm talking about some. I don't know. You probably had like your celebrity crush, like mm-hmm. you was guts, like you would make guts, mm-hmm. and you just wake up pissed. Yeah, I did because it's not real. It's, it's not, not reality. Real. Or you would be rich as fuck in your dream, like, and then you wake happened. up and you be like, oh, yeah, back to this bum ass shit. This shit. I was little kid, yeah. Mm-hmm. That shit used to pit. Like I really used to be one. Like, and I'll be trying to go back to sleep, bro, and I couldn't do it, bro. Word. It'll be over, bro. I'll be yeah. up, bro. Yeah. yeah. Bro, I had a dream. I was like 13. And this is when Sweet Life on Deck. Mm-hmm. Bro, I had a dream. I kissed Debbie Ryan. Okay. And, and I woke up. And I was so mad. <laughs> and then I went to Twitter. I was like, I had a, I just, because I didn't know how to work Twitter then. I thought Twitter was just like, you talk to celebrities. Mm-hmm. So I tagged Debbie Ryan. I was like, I had a dream. I kissed Debbie Ryan. Just hoping <laughs> that Debbie Ryan would be like, oh, all right, let's make it happen. I was no, like, I'm ah, weak. damn. I'm, weak. I'm crying. How old were you at the time? How old was Sweet Life? Sweet Life was like, was like 12? Yeah, that was like 12, yeah. I'm weak. Y'all ever had wet dreams? Yeah. I, when I, was like, I haven't had one in bro. a really long time. I, yeah, when I, I was like a little kid. 
Yeah. Like I was like eight. Mm-hmm. I had a dream. I had a dream I was fucking like this old lady. Only was Harry Pussy, bro. What the fuck, yo? And I, As a kid, yo, yeah. wet dream. I've never, yeah. yo. I've had, I've had, <laughs> I've had one wet dream in my no, life. No, because that's dirty. <laughs> with saggy Wait. titties and shit. Oh, he just fucked a girl, was an big, old bro. lady with saggy titties and uh, shit. I don't know, bro. bro I had, she was a virgin old. at the time. She was, yeah, she was not old though. She was old though. Not she was young. She was old. She was elderly or she was just old. Fifties. <laughs> Jesus but Christ. I'm eight. I wonder if anybody ever had a wet dream about somebody they was attracted to because I had oh, the no, same no. shit. No, I have. Bro, okay, oh, you have? I have. Oh, okay, yeah, so yeah. your shit must have been fire then. Yeah. Because me, I had a wet dream. It was probably like what? Like, but it's never somebody you know or like yeah. thought yeah. about. It, I had a wet dream. I was, it was like junior year, right? High school. I had a wet dream, bro. It was some girl, some girl I had on the gram. Like, I didn't, she was like some big girl. Oh. Well, okay, no disrespect mm-hmm. to no big girls. But she was in a, I fuck with big girls. Yeah. But, she wasn't a big girl that I would fuck with. You know what I'm saying? She had a dream about her and I was like baffling. And I'm like, I woke up, I'm like, what the fuck is that? What the fuck? Nigga, sperm all on my sheets, on my my underwear, bro. I'm like, why the I'm How how do you, how does it work? How does, what? I guess, yeah, because who's doing the, who's doing the, who's doing the coming? Right. You know what I mean? Who did this? Like, how? Like, did it just come out? I guess. Like, that shit is shit. That's Damn. You could de- hold on. That's yeah. Niggas, minute, niggas could nut and not ha- and and nothing happen. Like, like you no. can have an orgasm and well, no. yeah, because you know how some well, niggas like dead be direction. right, right, right. Because there's there's some I don't want to say guini niggas, but just niggas who I guess don't get no play or or you know, um, you know, uh, sexually in, yeah. In cells. So it's like they be nutting off like the touch and like shit like that. Like if a girl literally just touches them, like they would like. Or like even if like, it, like the weirdest shit, but like yeah, it happens to people who don't even have like any. You type know what of that sexual. made me think of? Y'all ever seen American Pie? Um, Naked Mile. I don't really. Yeah, watch American that. Pie. I, I watched I've American it, Pie yeah, once yeah. or I twice. Don't okay, so Amer- it was called Amer- it's American Pie Naked Mile for y'all who for those of you who know seen that movie, y'all know what I'm about to say. There was a scene, right? It was at a party. So basically, they college they had a Naked Mile. Y'all know a Naked Mile, but they yeah, were right. naked or whatever, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So after that, so basically before that, they popped some ecstasy because they wanted to be lit, like while they was running or whatever. Right. No, they pop, yeah, they thought it was ecstasy. They popped some ecstasy. They wanted to be lit. You know what I'm saying? Run, blah blah blah. Feel me? Get the nerves, get right. the nerves oh. out. Mm. Right. These niggas ended up taking Viagra. Oh, so these niggas' dick was hard for like mad long. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So everybody was like, "Oh shit, y'all dick hard." Everybody embraced it or whatever, right? They was like, "Oh cool, whatever, fun, let's." Run doing the naked mouse. So then they had a party. So y'all know Stifler. Mm-hmm, yeah. So Stifler it was another generation of Stifler. Okay. He was like, yo, I have an idea that will make you guys legends. So they had dick a dick off. Like like they had it like it was the dick games. Like basically. So <laughs> <laughs> Bro, so ba- I forgot what they called it, but it was something, right? So basically, they was throwing, they was playing baseball with a ping pong ball, and the Uh-oh. niggas had to swing, they had to hit oh. the ping pong ball with a dick. So nigga Stifler was like pitching, throwing them, they was hitting it with a dick or whatever, right? So then the next one, they had to see whose dick stayed oh. up the longest. So they put a bucket on both of their dicks, and then they had girls pouring beer in the bucket. So when one of the dudes, when the girl was pouring beer in the bucket, this nigga was nutting, bro. He was nutting. <laughs> she was pouring the beer in the bucket. What the fuck? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so she was pouring the beer in the bucket, right? Yeah. And he was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, oh, right? And then, he, and then there was people in the crowd watching. Oh, my God. He nutted on like two of the girls, bro. And I'm like, wow, like niggas dead ass be nutting off, off of, of like nothing, simple shit. nothing, nothing, nothing right. for real, nothing. Like yeah. what? That's, That's crazy. OB. So I I don't know how like because when you having a wet dream, you're dead ass just sleeping, you're laying yeah, down. So like, how do you nut? Like how does that? You be feeling like it's real. I don't it know. Do be feeling like, like yo? Huh? Like, I feel like I feel like you pissing yourself. Like, well, for me, That's really? I don't remember. I don't know. I don't remember. I haven't had one in a minute. But it do be feeling mad good in the dream. But I'm not. Fucking for real. So what's That's happening? So crazy. Damn. Hmm. Damn. So like, what the That's fuck weird. is that? Yeah, that is weird. That's mad weird. Because like, yeah. like, if you were to see me dreaming and you don't know my wet dream, but like 
nothing's happening to me. Right, like, you just the laying there. Yeah, you just dead laying there. Nothing's happening. That's kind of OD. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I had some of my dreams about baddies, though. Like, I've had drugs. <laughs> Nigga, yeah. Yeah, I had dreams about, like, celebrity. People that I wanted to have sex with at the time. Everything, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah me too. Yeah, 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 yeah me too. Yeah, me too. everything. Facts, like, girls in school that I wanted mm-hmm. to take down and shit. Or, I'm sorry. That sounds crazy. Take good. down. But, wow. you know, have sex with whatever. Yeah. Same shit. Nigga, New York. We from yeah, in fact, that's how we speak, bro. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, that nigga got hurt. Oh, that's my uncle. Oh, I that thought it was crashed. Nigga. Oh, oh. No, no, no. The oh. way, no, in my, oh, oh, in my, oh, oh, I thought oh, oh, it crashed. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that shit is so funny. Yo, I think y'all should watch that, though. I, I seen it. I just don't remember. Mind? Yeah, I seen it. I just don't remember. the, um, like, the states? Like, they had a picture of a state. American, American Pie and then like Fifty States was all in like blue and red. That's not. That's not it. Maybe it's a white. It's white. It's a I white know, it's ass a movie. It's a couple. It's of like them. a. It's mad at them shits. Yeah. Yeah, I literally just don't remember. I watched like one or two. These shits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Them shits. Them shits. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. What's next on the uh, agenda? Shit. You know what I'm saying? Ain't you said you had something? Um. Type don't remember now, but I w- w- go ahead. Okay, I want to ask a question. It's not a good segue, mm-hmm. but that's cool. We done with the topic. Yeah, yeah, yeah we good with that. Okay. So, mm-hmm. I wanted to know: Do you guys ever feel pressure to having your shit figured out right now? Yeah. Like you, I don't know if you've ever seen any of your peers doing mm-hmm. what they want to do in life or whatever. Have you ever felt the pressure to have? Your shit figured out right now at this age, like I, whether it be from your parents, whether it be what, from society, oh, like yeah. whatever. I yes. think most definitely. I think yeah. it's kind of natural to feel that right now, mm-hmm. especially in this day and age where mm-hmm. you can see everything, or mm-hmm. everything you see, you think it's something, but it yeah. really might not be anything. I think most times I'll be like, "Damn, I'm not doing enough, or yeah. I'm not making enough money, yeah. or it's like, damn, I should be doing this because I'm this old." Mm-hmm. But in reality, it's like, fuck. yeah. Yeah, a lot of times I have those thoughts. Like, I have these conversations with my mother and shit like that. But then my mom kind of, like, I'm, I love the mother that I have. But, like, she um she kind of assures me that even though time is ticking, but right. at the same time, she's like, bro, I'm, hold on, like, I'm 40. I'm how old am I? I'm 24. Like I said, he's 40. <laughs> I'm 24. My mom is 44. Mm-hmm. So, and she's like. I don't even have it all figured out right now. Like, right. even though like she's well off, but she's like, even now I'm still learning. Every day is still a different day. Every mm-hmm. day I'm still getting better. Every day is still, and I, and I be thinking I'm like, damn. But like, when you was my age, you had this apartment, you had me, you had this job, da da da. And she was like, bro, but think about it. If I was like, if when like you will be, you're already further along than me. Even though you don't have a kid or your own place, you're further along than me because. What I'm doing is ultimately trickling down to you. Mm-hmm. What my dad is doing ultimately trickle down to me. So it's like they're setting me up. So now I'm on a bigger pedestal or on a higher step than they were. They were struggling figuring it out. Right. I don't have. I have the luxury to not do that. So it's like I have the luxury to be like, okay, I have time. I have yeah. you know. I don't gotta gauge it off of anybody else's mm-hmm. success at this age if they're doing more than me at the same age. And like, cause you don't know if you might just you know shoot up. Shoot yeah. up. And it's when it's your time, it's your time. So even though I have those thoughts, I like to bring myself back to reality. Like everybody's time is not my time, right. and my time is not everybody else's time. And when my time comes, it'll come when it needs to come. Mm-hmm. So that's how I kind of I kind of bring myself back. Like I try to not panic myself for real, for real. For me, I think it's myself. Like I think I put pressure on myself. You know right. what I mean? Because, like, you know how people be like, "Yo, um." Like their thirties is when they really started having mm-hmm. fun because that's yeah. when they having bread right. and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. Thirty yeah. years are just twenty years of bread, bro. <laughs> Me, bro, I don't want to wait till I'm in my thirties, yeah. bro. That's, what, yo, that's why sometimes I'm like, oh, bro, why can't do this right bro, now? Bro, I want to do that shit right now, yeah, bro. Yeah. I don't want to wait till yeah. I'm in my thirties, yeah, like, to do shit. exactly. Like, to have, like I'm having fun now, but like, I want to really like, I live life like exactly, oh, shit. like yeah. real shit, exactly. Yeah, like, I want to, I want to, I want to. Even though I'm not in a rush to move out, like it would still be nice to have my own place to do whatever I want. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, I, I could do that now. Yeah, exactly. But it's, it's different. different. It's like, like, well, this is my place, bro. right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's my yeah, place. Yeah. I could do what I want. Like, bro, yeah. it's different. You know what I'm saying? So I put that. I put that pressure on myself mm-hmm. because, like, 
I don't. I I really don't want to wait until I'm like in my thirties and be like, oh, now I have money, now I could do whatever. Mm-hmm. Nah, bro, I want to do that right now for as long as possible. Bro. Yeah, as I early mean, as possible. Yeah, as early you know as possible. That's how I be feeling too, bro. The same way, like, bro, I don't, bro, just like, cause it's contrary to whatever. There's people that's my age doing this, doing right, this shit. Right, so right. I'm like, damn, I see them doing. It, I'm like, I right, like understand. Like they tell me, oh, they and they tell me, oh, don't move out or. Don't don't rush. Mm-hmm. Don't rush. Come well, like, yeah. nigga, I understand that. Yeah, I get it. Mm-hmm. What if you doing it? And I see you doing it. You having fun. Mm-hmm. You 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 living your life. Yeah, yeah. yeah sometimes it might be hard, but nigga, I want to do that too, bro. Yeah. Same. Yeah. You yeah. telling me, like, nigga, yeah. I want to do this shit. But I, 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 when I hear those type of things. <laughs> I, I think the way you're thinking, but then, I, like I said, I bring myself back because I'm like, yeah. it's a reason why they're saying it. Like, they're dead yeah. ass in it, yeah. and they're telling me, like, don't rush it because I'm in it type shit. Nah, for you. Feel me? So it's like, they're like, oh, I, I did this, and I'm happy that I did this, but it comes with so much shit that niggas don't even think about that. Before they get into it, they're like, oh, I'm have the independence, I do this, mm-hmm. this, this. Mm-hmm. But then it's like, they're more, they, it's like, sometimes they're like, I was well, I was more well off staying with my mm-hmm. parents for a little longer, a little yeah. bit longer. Yeah, I do. So that's why, because that's my mom be saying like, "Don't rush." Like, this house is yours. Ultimately, this this is yours. Whatever the case is, and I'm like, I get it, but it's like, okay. But then I'm like, you're saying it for a reason because you did it right. at 20. Oh, you're right. right. Feel me? Right. You had me at 20. You had her own yeah, shit my at mom 20. Had me at 19. Yeah. So my mom ain't move out until my mom ain't move out my grandma house until mm. I was in like fifth grade. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah. But that, but she's living life now. Though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, some people, like, if they had a foundation, it's good. Like, mm-hmm. my mom, she tell me the same shit. But, bro, bro, my mom be telling me the same shit your mom do. Mm-hmm. My mom fucking annoying, bro. <laughs> I'm going to just, I'm going to just call to me the spade. I'm sorry. <laughs> bro, my hey, mom, mom listen to fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I got to get the fuck out of here, bro. Bro. Yeah, that's like, too. It depends bro. on the household. Like, bro, like, God It damn, depends yeah. on the household. So, it's like, uh, like, my mom, my mom, she's a good mom, though. Don't no, 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 yeah, great yeah, mom. yeah. But like sometimes I just yeah you I, just I don't want to be under her sometimes mm-hmm. like I want I want to fail sometimes it sounds so absurd but mm-hmm. I want to fail on my own mm-hmm. just to see what I'm made of yeah right sometimes like it's weird yeah no, I, I don't completely need, get it don't need to do that and it's it's no sense to yeah. do that but for me I just want to see yeah and I because okay once I go in the real world it's like damn I'm kind of new to this shit mm-hmm. I kind of want to be I kind of want to know what the world is yeah, about yeah. so when I'm older I can yeah. move way different than I yeah. would if I would move and that's, when I'm thirty and that's like that's yeah. the kind of like the Weighing of the yeah. scales because like your mother's telling you this because she did exactly, yeah, exactly what you want to do. Exactly. And she's like, I don't want you to go through the hardships that I went to. But you're saying like, I want to yeah. because I want to learn. Yeah. So it's like, it's what the weird. fuck do you really listen to yeah, for bro. real? For real? So I ain't weird. trying to go through no hardships. I just want to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 I mean, I just want to. You know? No, no, I don't. Nah, 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 I don't want to go through hardships. Yeah, nah. Yeah. I ain't trying to. Nope, 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 nope. No, thank you. Let me take that back. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to experience shit where it's like, damn, I'm really an adult. I really got to pay this bill. Yeah. Who? <laughs> like, like, <laughs> like, like, not that like I don't have it to do it. Yeah. But I'm like, I got it. But I'm like, oh, shit. Okay, I really got to pay this bill. Like, damn, this shit coming to my name. You just want to have that stress I just to you. be like, I. I stress, but it's just like, like the importance, like, bro, like, yo, listen, like, this is your life, bro. Because mm-hmm. like, Loki, this is my life too. But like, it's like a, it's like a movie, but it's like a. A part one to a movie, like I want the part two where it's like, oh, it's yeah. a sequel, or the, it's like a prequel, or the sequel. Because I'm like, I want shit to like, I want to be. I feel like the life I'm living now mm-hmm. is real, mm-hmm. but it's not really. It's not really my life. Hmm. Yeah, it's weird. Like I'm living my life, but it's really like, it's a. I'm in a stage where I'm living life. And it's my life, but I don't feel like this is my life. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like this is, like, something I'm doing because I've been doing it. And that's what I'm used to. Mm-hmm. Like, I've been going to school, yeah, I've been, mm-hmm. been working. Mm-hmm. And this is my life, yeah, I know. But, like, I've been doing this, so I don't really feel no, like, oh, yeah, this this is life. Or this is something I'm supposed to be doing. So, basically, you're, like, living a life but not living the life you want to live. Basically, I'm saying, like, I don't feel like I'm living life at all. <laughs> I feel like I'm literally You're existing? Yeah I'm literally just Just doing shit Because it's, I've always been doing shit mm. And that's how I know To do shit And that's how I've always been doing shit But I don't feel like I'm actually Really living at all I'm just existing And it's, I'm under my mom's roof So it's like Shit It's not even my life sometimes It's her life too I don't mm. know It's weird 
So, so weird take. what what make you feel like you're living life? I was, like, asking, what I was you, thinking the same question. Me being put in fire, like excuse me. <laughs> you said what? Put in the fire, like like me going out, moving out, uh huh, and just figuring this shit out. Hmm. So you you just one of the person that don't want to just fall fl- flat ass on your nah. face and just be like, okay, I lived that. I really just want to experience shit because okay, like when people talk to me, mm-hmm. like and they be telling me about life, like I get what you're saying and it makes sense, but I can't really relate. Yeah, you me can't neither because you ain't like, living. I don't yeah. like so when people talk to like, yo, bro, and I'm like, oh, I'm like, yeah, man, mm-hmm. and I be talking, but bro, I don't know. What you're talking about? Yeah. I never related to you. Yeah, man, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Let me tell you about life. I'm like, oh, I'm like, damn. Oh, okay, like, cool. But I'm not ready to none of this shit. So I'm yeah, like, damn, yeah. what am I really? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I know I'm young. Uh-huh. We all young. And everybody starts different, but like, damn, bro. I want to experience what the fuck y'all living like. I get you. I want to relate. Ah, <laughs> shit. I type don't. That shit sound hard, nigga. That shit sound. It, it sounds well, really hard. Bro. Until until it's my time too. But I still yeah, you know like is? my fault. There you go. I feel like low key. I'm getting lazy with people. Mm. Like me just doing this thing, even though I'm doing stuff, mm-hmm. I feel like I'm getting so comfortable mm-hmm. with what I'm at right now. Uh, it's like, bro, you feel like complacent. Yeah, like, bro, do I really need to, mm-hmm. like, like you know, get on my shit, hustling? Mm-hmm. Do, I really need that? Like, mm-hmm. do you know what you want? Yeah, I know what I want, and I, I really know. I don't, I don't know what I want to do. I want to do a career. I want. I want to know how I want to live. I already know what I want to do, mm-hmm. but it's like I hope I'm just not getting like used to something so much where it's like now nah, I'm mm-hmm. out there and I'm like. Uh, like, I can't do the shit. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I go outside. Like, okay, say like I leave my mom at thirty, mm-hmm. and I go out and I really don't know what to do, and I can't do it anymore. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. like I don't know what to do, and I, and I fail. Yeah, at thirty. Yeah, I rather the fail or rather get my foot in now than mm-hmm. try to get that thirty. And I'm like, hey, but like, oh, bro, what are you talking about? This is this is yeah. y'all. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah. like, I don't know this shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I fail. Yeah, so I was like, I don't know. It's weird. Me personally, I want all of the. The good shit. The good shit. Yeah. And you can keep the bad shit. <laughs> 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 no, that ass. <laughs> no, I really don't want bad shit. I feel you, bro. Yeah. But it's like, I want some real shit. Damn. So weird how I'm explaining it. Like, I don't want anything bad. Right. But I want to know, like, if if I stop, this shit stops. Bro, like, I can stop right now. Mm-hmm. And shit, shit can, I'm going to still be eating. Mm-hmm. I'm still roof over my head. Yeah, I'm true. I'm still be doing shit. Not, I, I, I'm not gonna be like I don't have. I gonna have to figure shit out. Literally, I can lie down. Mm-hmm. So you're dependent. You're saying I'm too you're dependent. Depend- okay. like, bro, like, I feel like sometimes I'm way too dependent. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like even though I'm not. Yeah. Because like, I don't ask my for shit, but I feel like, bro, like in the back of my mind, right. Mm-hmm. Bro, if, if I just wanted to stop, right. Quit and just, I can quit. Mm-hmm. I can quit this job. I can. I can quit school. Mm-hmm. I, I, well, I can quit school. Mm-hmm. Type, and just my mom be like, all right, whatever. Mm-hmm. But like, I don't want to feel like I'm depending on somebody, mm-hmm. because then if I feel like I'm depending on somebody, and I don't feel like I'm independent, mm-hmm. then I'll just only be dependent on somebody. Mm-hmm. And like, even like a relationship or whatever I do, I'm gonna have a dependent spirit. Like, mm-hmm. you know, like I don't really know how to do it. She can't help me, or which is fine. Yeah, but like it's not fine for me. Mm. Yeah, I love you feel like that comes with the initial, the initial statement is like, are we rushing or like, yeah. are we just, you know. Not rushing the process, but like like Monty said in the beginning, the initial question was like, "Do you feel pressure?" Pressure, yeah. Says so like, you're you're. It's like you're putting pressure on yourself, low key when you don't need to, or yeah. low key. I don't want to say too early because we're getting to that age, but like low key, prematurely because I feel like that mm-hmm. pressure comes with, you know, us getting older. Right. Not not pressure. That 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 what you not, want yeah. will come with getting older. Right. As we get go along with the world, like you don't know what will happen tomorrow, where you feel like, all right, this is finally what I was, no, you're right, you know, you're right. feeling you're so for right, type shit. So I'm like, that, I like to look at it on the sense of like not because obviously we're in, we don't depend on our mom to like yeah. even though our parents do it out of just because love they're our shit. parent and right. they love us, but it's not like we're I'm not depending on my mom to you know feed me. I'm not right. depending on my mom right. to put clothes on my back, right. even right. though I can, right. but I'm not. So right. it's like these. I feel like these are gradual things that we need to learn to do. Mm-hmm. And that we are learning to do, but I feel like, I, especially in the black community, they they they, I don't want to say force, but like they, they push a narrative where like you gotta get it now, yeah, gotta right, get it right, young, yeah, you gotta yeah, get you it gotta through the that. mud, yeah, 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 and it's yeah, like yeah. I I lowkey hate that now because it's too, like bro. why are you, 
It's like it's like it's like a it's like a contest to see who the fuck is struggling the hardest. Yeah, yes, exactly, exactly. Bro. And fuck that. Yeah, yeah bro, like no thank a, you. I be way. hating people that's like, oh, way. I did it. I I I got, got, I out, the got out the hood. Yeah. Like I, I had to go through seeing dead bodies organized. I'm like, nigga, I'm sorry that yeah. you're going yeah. through yeah. that. Like, I'm normal. sorry. That is not normal. Like <laughs> there's not a competition. Like oh, you ain't never been through what I've been through. I'm sorry. Like, I don't I, want to. Yeah, I don't want to go through what you like. I even though like. We all have relatively similar lives. Like, yeah, I grew up in Brownsville. Obviously, I seen a gun at a young age. Obviously, I seen a dead body. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. obviously, but you like, oh, I, I saw never more seen than you. A dead body, bro. And I don't plan on it. Yeah, me neither, I've bro. never seen. I've never. Bro, so, I've literally never seen anyone die. Really? I've never seen anyone get killed. Nothing. Bro, shot. I, I've never I, seen. Bro, I've shot. never seen a gun. Oh, okay. Really? No, well, I've that's never seen a gun. Shot. Nobody. Ever but that's what, and that's my thing. It's like people will hear you say, "I'm like, oh no, I saw a gun at this age. This made me who I am." So I'm like, bro, yeah, why are you trying to belittle my my the way I grew up as a kid? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Really, I was. We were kids. Why are you trying to make it like, oh, I'm so hard? This that like, it's not a competition of who nah, the fuck right. went it's, through the most shit, bro. Nah, really I've never bad, seen bro. drugs. I've oh. literally never ever seen drugs ever. I don't know what coke looks like. Really? Like I've seen it on TV. I've never seen it. Oh wow, no. that's good though. Yeah, I never. You know, why you make that shit anyway? I seen a, I seen a, I seen a crack pipe before. I've never seen a crack pipe, bro. I've mm. seen, I seen a, I saw a gun at a really young age. because I, I used to live in Brownsville, mm-hmm. and then there was um, these niggas on the block. My, my, my dad got a gun. I've seen a gun. I'm just saying. I've never. Like, oh no! Like, like yeah, yeah, yeah. In the street, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, at a young age, I was. I don't know how. Old. I was like before I was even like ten. I saw a gun in a box by accident. Like, and they, they, I ain't. They know I wasn't gonna do shit with it. They, I just seen it. Yeah. And then fucking um. The first time I saw somebody die, right in front of my, you know, the red door that I used to live, mm-hmm. bro, right, my mom, so my, there was a, a hair salon mm-hmm. across the street that I used to just walk, my mom would go there, so I would just walk across the street, there's kids there, there used to be kids on the block, so I'm playing, and I, I, I thank God, because I be dodging death a lot, <laughs> like, I dodge death a lot, right. so as soon as I went, I was like, mom, I'm hungry, I'm gonna go upstairs, get something to eat, whatever, come back down, bro, as soon as I walked through that door, bro, close that door, pop, pop, pop. As soon and right on the corner, I just I looked back out. I seen that nigga just fall, and the niggas ran. And I saw that nigga take his last breath, bro. And everybody, like even my mom, was like, just nigga was gone. That's the first time I seen a dead body. I was like, was I in middle school yet? I might. That's insane. That's insane. I might have yeah. so been young? like I might have been like ten. Nah, so young. That's nine, OD. ten. That's so deep. I don't know. I ain't getting the fuck about this one, bro. <laughs> I live there all my I, and and that and that's what the thing is everybody is so it's like a competition because everybody's desensitized to it so it's right. like everybody needs to to prove that they 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 went through the struggle. Nah, the struggle is a, it's a fucking bro. Why, not real like, bro? Every other bro. every other race do, does not praise the struggle. Yeah, bro. Besides, like, every really why is us. it in the black community that nepotism? Yeah, bro, it's, is it's, it's bad. Upon. Yeah, because we could be using that shit, like. Nigga, that's how, that's how I got some of my jobs. Like, my fucking aunt knew somebody. She's like, yo. And I nah, got that on. job. Exactly. Like, no. Nah, hold on. What that mean? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm feel, sorry. I didn't feel okay. English, but like. I'm sorry. I, I, I feel you. All right. So basically, next, okay. So say, say you. Say I you heard the word business. before. Say you own a business. Uh-huh. And you say, say you're the, like, you're the, you're the owner of Apple, right? Mm-hmm. And you make your son. CEO, even though he's not qualified, but you can get him qualified because mm-hmm. you have the resources or whatever, like, and you can make your daughter the fucking CFO or whatever mm-hmm. the fuck, you know what I'm saying? And if your cousin needs a job, you can make him the fucking mm-hmm. president of. Oh, that's whatever. okay. Like, basically, it's like you. I don't. You didn't necessarily earn it, mm-hmm. but because but you know somebody in you know somebody, right? You get put you on. Get you get put on. on. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Bro. But so that's. Like, but that's what life is really all about, though. It's like, about who you know. No. Yeah, it's, yeah, about, it's really not about, about what you really know. It's really about who you know. know. Not what you, exactly. Yeah. You know what so it's like, why get mad at somebody who's more... Well, I understand why you're... It's, it's really envy. It's, it's really, really like it's, jealousy. It's really slavery. Yeah, it's, 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 no, no, I'm saying somebody, who's look, somebody who's yeah. looking at that like, oh, well, I hate that you... Like I oh, got well, this. right. Okay, I get That's, you. Yeah, 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 I'm like you're looking at them in envy. You're looking at them in jealousy. I'm like, why are you mad at them? Because their parents... You don't know what their parents did to get there, but their their kid. That's what everybody is aiming to do: have their kids more well off to put them in positions of you know. That's what I thought. Yeah, but yeah. I've been seeing these niggas like these like these uh, rich niggas like these celebrities. I forgot who said it, but these niggas be like, "Oh my cunt, I'm, my my kids gonna have to get their own bread." This nigga, yeah, uh, who said that? Jackie Chan. What nigga, nigga was like, "Yeah, I'm Jackie Chan, but my kid gonna have to fucking get out the mud." Oh like, hell, no. nigga, what? You're crazy. What? 
that's crazy. I understand it builds character, and, and it's like, <laughs> wait, bro, what? <laughs> Nigga, what? Bro, if I'm like a millionaire, billionaire, bro, I swear to God, my kid will never work a day in never life. Never work a day in their life. And, and I, my, here's my, here's my, like, what I want to do mm-hmm. is, okay, you see how, like, the, like the Vanderbilts, you see, like, like the Clintons, like, you yeah. see, like, you see, like, the, bro, all these niggas with old money, yeah. they literally don't have to do shit, and their money just piles, bro, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? That's so no I'm matter saying. what the fuck these niggas do, they're always, always going to be good. Mm-hmm. Bro, that's they're what I'm always going to be that's good. What I'm saying, so why the fuck would you not want that? Why the fuck do you want your, kid your kids work? to be out here struggling, struggling. working yeah, it and makes, shit? It makes no sense. So there's, it's like an ideology parent, of like, oh, it builds them to be self-sufficient. Yeah, it builds them to be independent. It builds them to learn the real world. No I understand that, that, but you don't need to do give go that route. Here's my thing. I understand, like, say I'm like, say we get rich, like when we get rich, right? Mm-hmm. And our kids, we not well, obviously we're gonna teach our kids how to yeah. be right. uh, s- exactly Smart how to value yeah. money and yeah, like exactly. how to move with their money. We're exactly. gonna teach them these things. Course. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna I'm gonna have people. I'm gonna have like financial advisors, right. and shit yeah, like exactly. just so that I can ensure my kid doesn't just blow yeah. exactly. all of the yeah. bread yeah. when I'm gone. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Well, for him to work, but for him to be why? out here struggling, like, why? why the fuck would you? Go what fun. do you mean? Yeah, you would, you like, don't even want that for yourself. Yeah, like. For him to work to do what? Like, if you if he wants to work on him, okay, you could do what you want. You can do what you want, but I'm not about to make you you work. You know what I'm saying? The fuck? Yeah. Especially when you have all this money, bro. Come on, that's kind of weird. Yeah, a lot of a lot of people do do this. Allows you to do what you actually want to do. do. This bread uh, it gives you the privilege to do what you want to do in life. Saying he could be a fucking. Artists, niggas yeah. moving like niggas like moving literary. like their kid is just gonna want to sit on the couch all day and just yeah. do just nothing, like, be nah, a potato. Nah, he want to dance with him, dance all fucking day until he dance with Beyonce. Like, like whoever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying that shit weird, bro. Yeah, I've never weird. understood that. Yeah, bro. Yeah. I am for nepotism. Like yeah, now, yeah. now, yeah. now, it's certain situations. Like okay, say I want to be, say I want to be a fucking, I don't know, say I want to be like a surgeon or some shit, right, right. and I'm and I want to, I really want to be. A surgeon at this hospital, mm-hmm. and obviously, whoever else, like, say, whoever is like chief of the hospital, right, whatever, right. they hire somebody else because that's their nephew or whatever. Mm-hmm. Motherfuckers got to be qualified, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. It has to be, you know what I'm saying? They to literally have to be, surgeon. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, it, it depends. Like, I feel like, I feel like, nepot- I don't know how bad nepotism. Is on the other okay? It could because yeah, then you because it's different. It's different. Yeah. It's different. It's like we're not hiring you. It's it's different. Like, say okay. Did you see that that uh that uh it was a viral post mm-hmm. and it was a girl. I think she wanted to be like a um, I think she wanted to be like a fuck a cos. What is it called? A cos- cosplay? Cosmetic? Cosmetic? Cosmet- so, so, something? Cosma. But it's where she wanted to work, it yeah. was literally all white people. Mm. Oh. That's completely oh. different. Yes, yeah, the, 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 the influencer girl. I know you're talking about Right, the influencer girl, right. Exactly she wanted to do, so yeah. I forgot what she wanted to do, but whatever she wanted to work it was, at, it was yeah. all white people. Yeah. That's different. Yeah, that's, that's something completely that's different. Something. That's not nepotism. Exactly. That's fucking racism. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> that's something completely different. But if I'm building something, of course I'm going to put well, somebody, people, somebody people around yeah. me. Of course I'm going to put them all. Come on. Of course I'm going to do that. That's literally the goal. But it's Literally. like you want them to struggle just to learn you do value. You, you're going to shame other people because they got put on yeah, by like never, their dad. Oh, you didn't earn it. So you didn't work hard so for it. Fuck, Who the fuck wants to work hard? You want to you want to be out here working hard? Fucking for, stressing for, yourself for out? Your, for, for, That's for how that, it is in every on, industry, like whether it be basketball or corporate. Like yeah. Niggas hate Steph Curry because his father was a basketball player. Or Yeah. Like, so they'd, be like, they'd be like, okay, so... I, so was Kobe Bryant's father. Yeah, Kobe Bryant had money. <laughs> yeah, even like Lamelo and Lonzo a lot, Ball. A lot, a lot of, of, a lot of the niggas got bread. A lot yeah. of people have money, bro. And they you know niggas in the league that ass hate the fact that they had bread bro, coming into the league. If you're nice at ball, bro, you're yeah, gonna be nice. Curry is fucking nice, bro. Just because he was way better than his pops. Yeah, nigga worked hard to be way, way better, better than, than his pops. pops. Exactly. And he had bread from he had NBA money. Mm-hmm. That don't change the fact that I'm like I put the work in, bro. Seth Curry. Also, another one. He not, I yeah, mean, I don't know yeah. if he's better than his pops, nah, but he, 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 he doing his thing. He, he might be. Than, I think he better than his pops. He doing his thing. <laughs> yeah. Lamelo, nigga, nigga, Lonzo, yeah. nigga, Lamelo better than Lonzo, bro. Yeah, facts, facts, bro. Like, and they had bread before they and even they had, the and they had bread already. So what, bro? This is so weird, bro. bro I, it's really it a competition to who struggled the most, right? Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want my kid to struggle at all. No, bro. 
Uh, bro, it may, and what sense is that? Like, what what is he gonna gain from that? Literally. Like you can, like you like just because they don't struggle doesn't mean they can't learn values. Mm-hmm. They can't learn like structure. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like I that I don't believe that, bro. Yeah, that only, only comes thing, with parenting. I feel like the only thing you can gain from struggling, bro, is just bad health. Bro, bad, <laughs> bad health, health, bro. Bad like, mental health, bad everything. Like what the fuck? Stress, trauma. That's it. Nothing good comes from struggling, bro. I don't care what nobody told me. Nothing good. It makes you stronger. No, that's a lie. That's a fucking lie, bro. <laughs> like I don't believe that just because I didn't struggle, I can't appreciate exactly. what I have. Like, is that, I don't, bro, I don't, I don't believe yeah. that. Concept, like who, ma- like who said struggling is the way to go? Like, yeah, bro. Like, bro, what's I'm saying? Capitalism. I don't, I don't believe that. I really don't believe that. Um, so crazy, bro. You have to struggle in order to value what you have, or in order to. Um, you feel what I'm saying? Like, uh, it's, yeah, like struggle in order to really appreciate the value of life, or. Your hard work, like bro, yeah, like hard nah, work. fuck. What that. is hard work? Cause what the fuck? He's is fucking. That? The nah. goal is to not work hard, it's, bro. Uh, like, what is ultimately hard? the work goal smarter, is smarter, not yeah, harder. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And niggas hate that shit too. And like I said, like yesterday, like how are we, that shit don't even it's not even right. I don't even pay off sometimes. You could be don't. working hard your whole life and still fucking do nothing, bro. Niggas don't want to, bro. I don't want to work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who, bro? People who, gen- <laughs> people who generally want to work, I understand. That's I'm happy I feel for you, you yeah, bro. But me. I don't want to work. I don't want to go to work, a, yeah, bro. bro. I want to do. Okay, let me rephrase that. Feel like you're working. Like yeah, you're I don't want right. to feel like it's like, work. Once like, this blows up yeah. and we do this full time mm-hmm. and we do content creation full time, that's working. That's, mm-hmm. But I want to do that. Yeah, yeah. Right. I don't want to fucking go to fucking do this nine to five shit. Yeah, I don't exactly. want to do that, bro. Yeah. I don't want to work, bro. Exactly. I, I don't want to do that. Nah, it makes us. Yeah, it's no. I feel like it just takes away from. Sometimes jobs really take away. It doesn't take away all the time, but most times it consumes your time. Bro, jobs do take away all your yeah, time. Yeah, like like I'm. I have the bro. privilege. Okay. I have the <laughs> because think about it, bro. Nah, worry, bro. How much time does it take for you to get ready, <laughs> bro? Right. How much time does it take for you to go to work? work. How much time does it take for you to finish your job? Then how much time does it take for you to go back home? Yeah, like, mm-hmm. And then do all you have time it. to do is sleep, is sleep, eat, and eat, and eat. Shit. And, and then do the same shit again. And there's people working two jobs, going to school. Like, bro, like, how why is, would you want yeah. that for anybody, yeah, bro? bro? That's so. Why weird. would you want that? Yeah, like, if you did it, I fucking commend yeah, you, and real. you are you are amazing. brilliant. You're great. You're amazing. Mm-hmm. I don't want to fucking do that, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and you shouldn't shame me because I don't want to. Exactly. Yeah. Because why the fuck? What would you want me to do that shit if you did it and you don't fucking like it? <laughs> you, hate it. you hate it. You hate it. hate your life. You would have wished you literally your worst hate your enemy. life. But you want me to do the same shit that you're doing? Because yeah, I'm gonna be well off. People saying there's a sense of like uh satisfaction when you like work hard for Fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Literally, nigga. there is no sense when you work hard for your money and taxes take that shit out anyway, bro. And you don't even make what you really worked hard for. Exactly. So bro. where's the satisfaction? Bro, I don't know. I don't know. Niggas acting like I don't know. Is it? Okay. You see how these rich kids and shit, right? You yeah. see how everything in life is like given to them. Yeah. I don't think that's the same thing. It's I don't not, think that's what we're saying. No, nah, that's not the same thing we're saying, bro. That's literally not the same thing we're saying. Like, That's not what we're saying, bro. We're just saying we don't want to be out here killing ourselves. Yeah, bro. That's some, like, bro. I don't want to be out here Bro, stressing. stress leads to fucking all these health complications. Why would I want to... S- purposely stress myself not even purposefully but stress myself out yeah. to the point where I'm my health is deteriorating yeah, my they, mental is deteriorating bro, there's people just in, for a check people in careers that's actually having a great time they're doing their career mm-hmm. and they love what they do and that's fine and that's fine that is that's if I could do that I would do that too mm-hmm. but I'm talking about literally like where like you're working and you're stressing and everything you just don't fuck with it and you're just doing it because to make a check mm-hmm. no you can keep, I'm good keep that shit like I have the privilege <laughs> of I have the privilege of Working like get like banging my workout in like four or five hours, yeah. and I still get mm-hmm. my my paycheck yeah, because it's salary job whatever, right. and right. I can get more based on how much I sell and right. shit. I have that privilege. Right. Everybody does not have that, have that privilege. privilege. That's, what mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying, bro. Yeah, people dead ass got a fucking like, bro. People dead ass take sixteen hours of their fucking day for work just for work. Yeah, bro. No. Whether that means to travel time, actual work. Preparation, like whatever Everything. the fuck, that is not that is, good vibes, that bro. That is not even normal. You know That's what? Not to be normal. You know what adds to that shit too? Generations of just like, oh, choose something practical. 
Yeah. Have have have, have yeah. like it like a lot of a lot of parents, grandparents crush their kids' dreams growing up because they they didn't go they didn't get the luxury of, you know, being in the field that they want to do or being doing their dream. So it's like they crush it early for their kids and then so on and so forth. Mm. Cuz I've had my dad pr- like tell me like I want like even though I understand where he came from, but my dad was mm-hmm. a soccer star. In St. Vincent, he was like number 1 in the mm-hmm. fucking island. Then mm-hmm. he went to he went to school for it, but then I came. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to say I kind of dumbed it down for him, but like when my older brother came, he mm-hmm. passed away at birth and my dad hated, like he resents the fact that he wasn't there for my mom when that happened because mm-hmm. he had to come from school because mm-hmm. he was going to school for soccer. Mm-hmm. So then he when- to go to school for soccer? You know- Like so, what, like college or something? Play, yeah, so, college. play soccer in college? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he was dead ass nice. Mm-hmm. Like that nigga was like, think of think of like a- like I don't a know Messi? if he, Or like Yeah, a, like think of- like think, a nigga? Uh, uh, Ronaldo, Ronaldo yeah, yeah. Think of think of like, bro. Think of like Curry out of Davidson. Okay, okay. he was nice, mm-hmm. right. bro. But then when my older brother came, and then my dad like felt horrible for not being able to be with my mom because he had to come from all the way upstate to down to Brooklyn to, mm-hmm. and then she lost the baby event like ultimately. Mm-hmm. Then when I came, he like he from shifted, there he kind of his mind shifted and cut it. So now it's like subconsciously they're doing it they do that shit to their kids like yo pick something practical where you know you know it's gonna be not guaranteed nothing is guaranteed but something practical where it makes sense that you could obtain it mm-hmm. like bro I'm telling my kids to shoot for the fucking stars a lot of mm-hmm. parents don't tell their kids to shoot for the stars yeah, no more bro because it's, it's the, they didn't scared. they yeah. weren't able to yeah, exactly so it's like now they're, they're stifling their kids for real for real cause that's all they know yeah so yeah. then then that leads us to being in more struggle because now mm-hmm. I'm going into a, a, a rut of just being like okay <laughs> Pick something practical, but then the thing that's practical is withering me down to fucking my my fucking knuckles, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. so crazy. Nah, I worry. That's a damn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bro. No, thank you. Not for me. You can keep it. Not for me. <laughs> that's that will that will not be my life. I'm yeah. telling niggas right now. No. No. Claim it, bro. No. Absolutely. Nah. I've been there, done that with that fucking no, working all day and shit. Oh no. my lord. Let me just tell y'all real quick before we get out of here. Yeah, bro. <clears throat> so, I used to y'all know I used to work at JetBlue. Right. Appreciate my cousin for getting me that job. Love her to death. Love her, right? <laughs> JetBlue. <coughs> now, this is JFK. I don't know if this is for everybody mm-hmm. in JetBlue all around, all everywhere, but specifically at JFK, mm-hmm. since it's so busy, yeah. all you do is work, 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 right? right? So, say my shift will be like 4 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Mm-hmm. That's your regular shift. I would have to wake up at like two thirty, get yes. ready, leave my leave my house by three, park at the fucking kiss and fly uh parking lot. That's mm-hmm. where the employees yeah. park. Mm-hmm. Either make sure I'm on time for like the three, the three forty five shuttle or the three fifteen shuttle, mm-hmm. or catch the air train. I gotta make sure I'm early because I have to have enough time to make it to work on time. So I can't just, bro, I have work at 4. I cannot just leave because JFK's right there. Right, yeah. I can't just leave at 3.30, mm-hmm. be there by 4. No, I got to leave ahead of time so that I could get my parking, catch the shuttle, the air Shit. train, mm-hmm. then travel. I have to travel from my house to the shuttle, and then I have to travel from the shuttle to Terminal 5. And then I got to clock in, make sure I clock mm-hmm. in on work. Then I, have my, then I have my fucking shift. My shift starts at four. I already have to be up from right, like two thirty. They paid you from two. Exactly. They pay you, but they're gonna pay for that four a.m. Right? Because yeah. Exactly. Because you clocked in. Exactly. Fuck that. And then I work from four to fucking twelve thirty. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I don't get no break. Sometimes I have to get a bite to eat in between flights because they don't schedule you your break. They'd be like, "Yo, you gotta make your own break because oh. they pay you. They pay you the full four oh. to twelve thirty. They pay you the full thing." Mm-hmm. And. Usually it's eight hours, right? No, it's eight eight and a half hours because yeah. they're paying you for that four, thirty four minutes. minutes. Yeah. Like what the fuck? So you work all day, getting paid minimum wage, but the, the but the attraction is all oh, free flights, free flights. Bro. You you don't even have enough bread <laughs> to spend when you at your destination. Mm-hmm. When you're at wherever you Bro. at, you dead don't even got enough bread in your pocket. So you gotta you gotta do work more. You gotta work more. You came to travel no. out because you're working so much. No. You motherfuckers. Bro, my, fa- my my dad, my grandma, my mom. Well, not my mom because my mom mm-hmm. understands because she knows the type of... She knows I'm not... Not that I'm not built for it, but she knows I'm not doing it. Like, even if I'm built for it, I'm mm-hmm. not doing that. But my dad, he be like, transit is hiring. JetBlue is hiring. They be like, this is hiring. City jobs is hiring. I'm like, bro, I don't want to do that, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I, even from your experience, I told my dad, I'm like, bro, 
you know my you know Monty. I told him I told him that you worked at your when he was like, yo, that shit is not worth that little fucking buddy pass. Exactly. That shit is not worth the For the, your dad, maybe because he has the cause like he's he doesn't need the job for the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. He just wants it. Exactly. Just yeah. so for funny, people like that, <laughs> yeah, yeah. For people like that yeah. who got their bread yeah, and yeah. they're just using it for the free yeah. flights. Yeah, okay. yeah. Because the thing is, when you're working full time, mm-hmm. you're dependent on that bread. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So you have to make a certain amount of hours in order to still work at so, JetBlue. Exactly. So if you do under oh, like Jesus 420 Christ. hours, you're done. Mm-hmm. Part time niggas, they don't work because they know part time niggas aren't there for the bread. Oh they just, God. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're for just the, you know, the benefits. Niggas be, bro, niggas be paying niggas like, yo, take my shift, pay for my shift. And imagine they got kids. 4 a.m. God damn. What they gonna, God. No. <laughs> bro, we gotta, no. And then 12.30 come. Yeah. You ready to go home? Nigga, you gotta wait, wait for the shuttle traffic. to go oh, to go to your car. Boy. Then when you get your car, you gotta drive through traffic on the Bell Parkway, park go off, home. Oh, bro, no, you're oh, bro, it, I was away from my house from like 2 30 to damn. like goddamn 2 30. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's OD. <OB. laughs> no, that's, that's look, no, that life, I'm good. Bro, that, no yeah, fake. Bro, that's not a dead, no. That's not a life. Mm-mm. It's not. You're it's literally not living to go to work. Yes. Absolutely not. No way. Bro, I be telling my mom and my, my my parents, I'm like, bro, I feel so bad that y'all have to do that. Like, not in no, in not in no disrespectful way, but it's like, tell me what you really wanted to be in life and let me know if you're there. Let me know what your dream was to be mm-hmm. and let me know if you actually went throughout with that dream and right. if you're happy with where you are right now. Yeah. I don't, I'm learning from y'all to the fact that I don't want to just be going to work and then paying bills and then, I don't have a life and then I don't have time to have to myself. It's like, I'm just working until I'm, I retire. Like, no, yeah, no y'all way. are doing that. And I'm sorry that y'all have to, because that's how life has set y'all up. Mm-hmm. But I'm not doing that, bro. Mm. That's literally what it is. Every generation puts each one well or off to right. do better. That's what my mom trying to do for me. Yeah. So Thanks. I'm like, bro, I thank y'all that y'all are doing this, but I'm not following that rut, bro. <laughs> I'm not. And I'm telling, I'm, and there's no disrespect to you. I'm happy that you're, you're hardworking and you're, and you're, you're instilling this in me. But we're not I'm, shaming hard work. Yeah, no, yeah. We're just not saying at all. we not doing that. Yeah, shit. that's what I'm saying. I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Like I'm really hard sorry. Hard workers in terms of like labor. That's what yeah. we mean. Yeah, labor. That's what we mean. We work, uh, we're going to work yeah. hard for things we want, but we're exactly. talking about labor. Labor. No. Bro, I'm sorry that not. that's what you had to do, bro. Because if if you had the choice, you should not choose to do that, bro. It's yeah. fucked up because sometimes those hard workers don't even, it's not even that they, they choose on hard, they have they to. Have they to. have to. Provide. Exactly. They have to that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm sorry that you had bro. to do that, bro, because life hit you harder at a young age than so, me. It's so fucked up, bro. This world, this is world that's fucked up. Yeah. Because we don't need to do all this shit, bro. They have enough money to Bro, I had seen a post the other day. I had seen a post the other day. Money's not real, bro. Money's not real. Bro, Bro. more of that shit. Bro, but even... (laughs) (laughs) No, dead ass. Dead ass, just make more dollars, bro. Then they be like, oh, you're talking inflation. inflation. Shut the fuck up. (laughs) Shut the fuck up, because that shit don't mean shit. Just (laughs) act like inflation don't exist, nigga. That's all you gotta do. Just act like that shit is just not there, bro, and that's all it is. But think about it. If everybody in this world has money... Nothing's gonna, nothing's gonna happen. Everybody's gonna want to be on vacation. Everybody, there's not gonna yeah, be nobody, nobody serving you at McDonald's. They got, they, there's not gonna be nobody. But fucking. then we got robots that you don't even need to pay. I don't know. You ready for that? I wouldn't give a fuck if that means I don't gotta work. I don't know about that. Because I'm <laughs> <gonna> bro, <laughs> bro, true words. Niggas People gonna take are over the world. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. People are scared of robots, but you dead ass could, like when you're in the, that field, you know that that shit really has a small chance of happening. Mm. Like you could dead program, even though like it's a it's a that conspiracy. Shit could, that shit could haywire. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It could haywire and the wiring is. Bur- you ever seen iRobot? Think, <laughs> yes, but I'm like, bro. But think about, but but Nas is in that field. Mm-hmm. Nas does that shit, coding and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Even though things could go left, but it's like it's really a small chance that things go. Left. Unless I'm somebody good. really fucks too up. Big. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good, <laughs> I'm good off that. Nah. I, I really don't think that that chance is gonna happen. I'm good unless that. somebody that has programmed something to have so that you much of it. Some, some some weird niggas in that tech field, like yeah, yeah, these that, robots take over exactly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Might, that's the only it chance. Might be a couple thousand. Yeah, of them that's niggas. what I'm saying. That's the, only, that's the only slim chance where there's niggas that dead. That's like that's 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 I want a zero percent chance. No, I'm saying it's that chance of niggas that be like, oh, I'm there. That that's insane in this profession and they're mm-hmm. like oh let me put some extra intelligence into this robot, robot and think for itself mm-hmm. then but if you program that shit to just be dumb and just do A and B because <laughs> it's, it's not a, a living thing yeah you, you literally feelings. could program it to just take the drink and put it here that's right. its only job it's not gonna 
figure out for herself to stand up and now smack you in the fucking face. No, there's a, there's a, uh, <laughs> I went on a cruise. I went on a cruise. I went on a Royal Caribbean cruise. Um, they got this thing called Bionic Bar. Mm. And you oh. type in, you type in on the iPad what drink you want. You make your own what cocktail. The yeah, fuck? yeah. And the arm, that ass yeah. does it. Yeah. Puts, the, puts the drink in there, or whatever, because the, the drink is hanging from the ceiling mm-hmm. and they got a cap. So then the, the, the robot just opens it, pours the drink. Mm-hmm. Shakes it up like it, it says. Like yeah. if you want, how much ice cubes you want? How yeah. much times you want it shaken? If you want it stirred? If you want mm-hmm. lemon lime? The robot does all of that. Yeah, it does all of that shit. Yeah, that shit is fire. I'm about to, I have a video. Caribbean. I have a video. I'm gonna show you. I have a video. Bro, I I'm sponsor us. Yes. Bro, I'm all for technology, but it needs to stop once we start getting complacent and lazy. Low that's key. what like, but that's that's that's, that's what would happen. Like yeah, if everybody, yeah. if everybody had bread, right? The value of that bread wouldn't mean anything because, like, okay, certain... Okay, so, boom. If everybody had enough bread to buy a fucking X5... Mm-hmm. X5 wouldn't mean shit. X5 wouldn't mean it shit. It would have no value. Nobody at... Nigga, if everybody was rich, wouldn't nobody be working at BMW? Mm-hmm. Wouldn't nobody working at fucking... Damn. But then but then think about it, though. There's people who are working not for the money. You don't think people... Like, if everybody has... enough of those people? Because well, I feel like if, if, well, if, if everybody don't have money, well, everybody have the same money, then some most people gonna yeah, be like, somebody's oh, gonna do have it to, for yeah, do it for the. You think so? It's easier. You really people think who, so? It's easier said nigga, if I was rich, I'm not doing shit. But but if, if you I was if, rich, nigga, but if you you but would if, see me, nigga, I will be on a plane somewhere, and then and then if everybody rich, ain't nobody gonna ain't gonna be no pilots. Nigga gonna be like, fuck this shit. I'm about to go here, whatever. You know. What but I'm what I'm saying is, there's people who love doing it, so maybe those people will be a little bit more. Damn, but that's when that's what the fuck happened. Fuck rich. I need everybody just to so be have enough money <laughs> to survive. To not even, not even to survive, survive but to, to be self sufficient, to be, well, yeah, to to be, be, like, be well, well off. They, not, I'm not saying rich, but if everybody yeah. had enough money just to do what to the live, fuck they, to, to live, to live, literally to live, then that's all we fucking need. Yeah, so you can I have agree. more money than me, whatever. Yeah. But if I have enough money to live the way I, I want take to care live, of my family and that don't fucking mean shit. I'm not feeling like I'm all shit. I'm doing this for nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we need to go at. But you know these stingy niggas. All right, well, there y'all have it. Y'all have uh, y'all want to end this on a positive note. On a positive note, I don't know. That was if I funny. That was, I don't I mean, know if that was negative. Or not. Nah, you know, nah, it was negative. It was just you know, it was just a wake up call. If you oh, listening, yeah. if you listening on the uh, Spotify, Apple, whatever, give us a star review, please. Right. Push us through that algorithm. If you're watching this on YouTube, leave a like, subscribe, comment, um, follow us on all social medias mm-hmm. at Not For Nothing Pod. Shout out to y'all on the TikTok blowing our shit up. We appreciate y'all. y'all. Growing, we growing every fucking day, yo. Every mm-hmm. fucking day, we dead ass appreciate y'all. Subscribe to that YouTube and like, comment, subscribe. Mm-hmm. Oh, we yo, go check that. out that Hot Ones video. Oh yeah, we just yep. that Hot Ones video. Just yep, go check out that video. Go check out the video featuring uh, Dom. Yep. By the time this is out, that's gonna be out. So you know what I'm saying. Appreciate the love, no funny yeah, shit. Appreciate the support. That's it. That's bro, it's really up good. from here, bro. That's a fact. All right, until next week, go holla at y'all. Yeah. My body different. BBS shot it. Different dollars. Shit, me, nigga. Yeah. Check. Okay, 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 okay.